Well, guys, the audience has spoken. Um, and they have said that you guys, you guys want to watch Aiden and Sneeko, uh, have this debate, I guess, um, in a series, it's not apparently known as kick it episode one from Aiden Ross. I guess they're doing the thing. Hey, can't wait for the new Manosphere podcast with Aiden Ross and Sneeko. That'll be something else. That'll be something else. Anyway, let's get it started. I guess DJ academics is there too. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Perfect. All right. All right. All right. Chat, open from the screen. What's good? Both of you, what's good? We just saw each other. We all met Donald Trump. Have a good experience. We all got to uh, witness together. What up, bro? No. Wait, wait. I want to know what you honestly think about Donald Trump. Because for whatever reason, I thought it was going to be awkward. I think we're jacking Yay24. Yes, only if Yay24 was a part of it. So you see here, he needs to acquire me. Other, I told Kai, you know, I told this, I told everyone, I told Fuente, I told everyone. And, and listen, Yay24 would only work if they had me on their roster. And that's facts. Yeah. He might be right. I mean, A24 will never work at all. Um, people have realized that he's a hateful anti-Semitic person. Well, though, he did watch 21 Jump Street, and he is no longer... He said the Jews are cool now. This is Jonah Hill, but... Um, <laughs> the reality is people have already like moved on. It's not a real thing. But having a Jewish person back in, like, Aiden, I guess, could help. Uh, you know what's interesting, though? There are no Jewish characters in Overwatch, which is a little weird to me. I don't know why. It's bizarre. Just give me like one Jewish guy, you know? Make him a lawyer. No, don't do that. That's <laughs> Let's go. Yes, bro. They, he, wouldn't, he would only become president if I, if I was on the team. Sneak Mike, he wants to be the token Jew. Huh? He wanted, he wanted to be the token Jew for representation. Hey, I'm not on the politics wave anymore, but uh, I will say I love Donald Yo. Trump. My go. Why? Yo, okay, first of all, I'm glad you're off the politics wave. Yo, Aiden, man. First of all, I got a lot to say to you. I got a lot to say to Sneakle, too. Yo, first of all, Aiden, you got to come back down to earth, brother. You got to come back to the people. Begin it. You've been trying to be like uh, taped for a little bit. Oh brother, my god, take... I am. I already. That's the thing. I, I've already. I'm, I'm this is the resurrected area. I just. Oh wait, he already grew all of his hair back. Damn, that's quick. My hair does not grow back at all. It's wild. Started yesterday. So watch it a month. You're about to see a whole new Aiden. It's already, it's already in the books. Yo, why is there? There's a new Aiden every other week. Damn. Yo, yo, have you seen a video on him? There's a video. Oh yo, my what? god, this dick stuff. The, the Patrick CC. I was about to watch that. Uh, it's a good video. I it's a great it. video. Yo, Aiden, you're my dude, and I watched it, and I literally said, "Yo, this is kind of right." My dude, keep trying to reinvent. <laughs> That's crazy how Patrick CC made something that I like a DJ academics watch. It's fucking wild. And himself, what's up with the reinvention, dog? It's good. Now, now, where's my I team? I'm always being myself. This what are you wild. talking about? My team just I'm me. Now, and, 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 I'm, and I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna go back to me. I'm gonna go back to Agami. I'm gonna go back to people who people start falling in love with me, and that's what I'm gonna go back to doing. I'm getting away from that politics era. I'm getting away from motherfuckers like Sneeko, okay? And yeah. I'm, going to, I'm going back to him. Yo, Sneeko, guys, we're at the fucking wow. fight. My this team dude's is asking awesome. random fucking influencers, yo, bro, what are your thoughts on Mr. Beast's friend? Like, why are you like people are just trying to watch a fight, bro? Like, and you're like asking motherfuckers, what are your thoughts on the fucking on Chris? It's crazy. Yo, let's hear it. What's your thoughts on Mr. Beast's friend? Uh, well, you know, uh, trans bad, Mr. Beast's bad, you know, uh, woke, uh, blah, blah, blah. There you go. It's Kurt. I can't have a conversation with somebody. Like, even if I ask, even if I say how many genders are there, if I ask somebody if there's only Fair two enough. genders, that's apparently political. Fair it enough. shouldn't be political Fair that there's Fair only enough. two Fair genders. Enough. I know. I know. That's the world we live in today. Fair enough. But Sneeko, I just, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Sneeko. The first thing you're like, hi, I'm Sneeko. The other person's like, hi, my name is blah, blah, blah. You're like, what is your opinion? Like, it's the first thing you say to him. It's insane. <laughs> I like conversations. I like being able to uh, to go back and forth about something. What do you want me to be like? Oh, nice fight. Good kicks going on. <laughs> hey, yo, Ak, apparently your, your screen is black. Your screen's black. Uh, Chris is texting me in my chat saying that your, your screen fucked up now. Yo, I'm an idiot, bro. Hold okay. on, I got it. <laughs> Sneak up. Did you did you when you met when you met Trump? Were you were you fanboying a little bit? I was. Were you? I was fanboying OD. Sneaker Update just, just posted a picture. You know, you know what a lot of people like to say, and especially like arguments from, from Destiny? Uh, they like to say that I'm just embracing the red pill for clout and for, for money. But I went to Trump rally's dolo in 2015 and 2016. Damn. I went alone. Yo, I voted for Chad. The only person I voted for, for, for was Trump in 2016. Yo, you were just rocking A24, bro. You can't just jump. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. Um, but okay. I mean, do we, do we think that Sneeko is just doing it for clout? Uh, I mean, at this point, Pro I mean, maybe. I mean, I think he's just dumb. But Destiny thinks that he's a smart guy, so maybe you know he's grifting for the money. Um, but at this point, there's no way he could ever not be making Manosphere content. Nobody will value him for anything else. He's completely burned every bridge. So you gotta like you gotta run. Every, right? everybody on Yay24. Yay took pictures with Trump. 
Everybody in the A24, we're all like former Trump supporters. Every I would take pictures of Trump to be real, I'm real with you though. I mean, it's Donald Trump. I mean, that's it's like a celebrity. And as uh, interesting as a president I think he is, I am still an American and I love America. So he was one of our presidents. So it would be a pretty cool experience. Everybody that was there. By the way, Sneeko not going to say this, but he was waiting in line to take pictures with Trump and Secret Service was grilling the fuck out of him. Be honest. Did you think they recognized you? Be honest. Why don't you think that they recognize you? You thought that like they pulled up your the Destiny stream with Nick Fuentes in there because of you. Why wouldn't you think that? Even though it's because Nick Fuentes is a a fucking like far right nationalist, but yeah. Be like, yo, don't take a picture with him. Like, he's not one of those. I don't think so. I don't think they knew who I was. And also, you filmed it and put it on your story, so it's not like it's something I need to hide. Come on, regardless, bro. No matter the political affiliation, I would always take it. It's Trump. Even politics aside, how could you not take a picture with Trump? Yeah, how could, not nah, real shit, how could you not take a picture, picture with Trump? Like, all, all the Democrats, would y'all take a picture with Trump? I'm genuinely curious. If you, you think the Democrats take a picture with Trump, they see him? Come on, I, I think they are. I've yo, 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 Aiden. So, so, I was bad. on a call, right, right before I even, that's why I was late to even the stream. People in hip hop, they're like, yo, act, you went all right, you took a picture with Trump. I'm like, yo, it's the former president of the United States. By the way, I'm not opposed to him, because by the way, I think Biden's been, like, let's not get into, I don't want to get into politics. But like, everyone thought that picture was like, some crazy shit. Like, I didn't think that my community would give a fuck at all. Did they? What? Bro, they've been writing that. Yo, they've been writing articles and things. Saying oh. that saying that all hip hop outlets have been infiltrated by alt right. I couldn't believe it, bro. I swear I couldn't believe it, bro. So, first of all, academics, why do you have nine monitors? Fuck you, bro. <laughs> no, wait, I'm genuinely curious. Like, why? That is wild, bro. Who are you spying on, man? Dude, you're like a fucking hacker. Shit, I try, man. Hey, hey, hey. I need two for CSGO. I need two for Uber Eats. I you live my You know what I mean? We're kicking it over here. It's wild that I killed their healer and we still couldn't push in. This team is fucking worthless. Yo, Aiden, wait, how'd you get tickets? I know how I got tickets. How did you get tickets to that ocean? I know. Y'all got tickets to Rumble. I know. I know you did. Okay. That's why I connected at first. I was like, let's see. That's getting close to the Rumble guys. And then you signed. I'm like, good for you. How come you didn't tell me when, I, when we were talking? You never, you didn't tell me. It was secret. Yeah, because I couldn't ruin the surprise, and also, like, like, yo, that's one of the brands. We can't even talk about it. Um, I got tickets because uh, Dana, Dana hooked me up. Oh. Yo, why, why do you think that nobody is covering academics joining Rumble? Besides hippies saying that he's all right, Jadion joins Rumble. They're all silent, but all the fucking blogs. Even though Aiden, you criticize a lot of them for saying that you're a bad person, like Dick Zerto and Jake, whatever the fuck, they will cover kick, 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 kick yeah, all goddamn day long. Wait, see what but they, then we get we sure. get Jadion, we get academics silent. Nobody's talking about Rumble getting these big ass signings. Sure. Right? Just gonna be like, I'm not going to Rumble. Ain't nobody talking about it. Do you see the actual agenda? This is a fishy yeah, topic. Sure. Everybody's quiet because. Are people not talking about it? I saw a bunch of videos before people talking about Gideon and stuff going to Rumble. Um, <clears throat> is Dextero just not covering? I feel like it's just probably not true, but okay. They don't like free speech. They don't like hey, conservative. Hey, this is a free speech platform too. The fuck? N n not, not until the Amazon services shut you down for saying something that you shouldn't say. Yo, yo, yo. By the way, by the way, you see, you get a motherfucker like Sneeko on here, and Sneeko is just so up, like an alley that it makes me seem like I'm political. I don't give a fuck what he's talking about. All I want to say, because I like I like to talk about creators, and you know, when I talk to you, Aiden, we talk about creators. Always. So, let me tell you this. I think we're in a really unique space where creators are not only beholden to the normal platforms that we're used to, whether it's Twitch, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, even, even TikTok. I think there's new platforms emerging, and I think, I've been trying to send this message for the longest. I think every creator should realize don't be a slave to any platform. Use fuck. every platform. You should, like, listen, not because I'm here means it's fuck YouTube or fuck any other platform, but we have to start reaching out to these other platforms. And I look at sure. you and I look at you like, hi. And you know, we've had this conversation. I'm like, yo, bro, every streamer who has influence, I was so shocked when you made that move, right? Because, you know, I think creators like you latch on to that, yo, I'm hot in this moment. And rarely do you see people walk away. It's usually the Sneekos that say, well, since you kicked me to the curve, no disrespect, Sneeko, you kicked me to the curve, I got to go do this. But you were in a position where you had the youth in your hand and you're like, yo, this is a good business move. And I know a lot of people have been getting into it for whatever reason, but I do think you're exercising your right as a creator. Eddie, what do you, what do you say? What did Eddie say? <sighs> He's talking to the I mean, yeah, he has a good point. What he's trying to say there is like, oh, people only make these moves um, once they get to a point where they are getting um, banned. 
And it's like, why not make the move first and like kind of threaten the situation and don't be so beholden to one uh, platform. It's a smart, it's smart, honestly it is smart. I think one of like the, the kind of the problems here in general um, is like, I like YouTube a lot. I think YouTube is the best platform by far for videos. Um, absolutely for videos there's no i mean there's literally no other competitor i don't think you could argue that otherwise i think it's the best for streaming which you could argue that maybe something else is better but i like it because it's it's easier to kind of get like awareness and on audience growing especially for smaller streamers and i just like the audience i think the audience is more diverse more mature i appreciate the audience more um and then there's shorts, which like TikTok is probably the best, but I, I still think that to YouTube is making like a nice come up. The problem is, is that like if it becomes um, if it becomes a monopoly and it has like all the power across the board for everything. Then eventually they could treat people worse. There's already issues with the way that they do some of their moderation business. You know, I got banned for a video that I uploaded to the drafts. I appealed it because it was ridiculous. And then they didn't even they said that I was wrong. They're not going to do anything about it until I went to Twitter. And then all of a sudden, oops, we made a mistake. And they gave me the, uh, they removed the, uh, the, 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 you know, whatever. They removed all the negative. They removed the, uh, the strike and the whole nine yards. <clears throat> so, you know, there's an issue with the moderation there. Money is solid, I think. They do about 50 50 across the board. Um, it's pretty good. I like that. But like what happens if they were the only one left? Are they going to start cutting costs? They're going to start, you know what I mean? And so it's a good idea to diversify for some people, especially if you have like that awareness and like that power to move people across the board. You know, if Twitch isn't treating you right, but you pull like, you know, 40,000 views on Twitch, you have the ability to say, okay, I'm going to move. And even if you made a little less money, you know, you'd still make, an, you'll still make plenty of money anyway. But then you have to prioritize your values over your comfort, you know. Um, but there's like these millionaires like, yeah, I make a million dollars a year on Twitch. But if I move to kick, I'd only make 700,000. And it's like, okay, but is it worth the increased respect potentially in this, that, you know. Um, so that's the only point that I'm making there. <clears throat> I'm, not talk, I'm not talking shit. I want to say one thing. You're not wrong. You're not, you're not wrong. Um, and, you know, what I want to say is you brought a good point up to me uh, at the UFC fight. You told me... Um, it's like a free agency for these streamers, bro. These streamers are going to start to get paid. Yo, Act, did you see Saudi Arabia is investing billions of dollars into esports and e-gaming and shit? Of course. Billions, not millions, billions of dollars. Who saw that chat? Y'all saw that shit? What right. I'm trying to say is it's just the beginning for this shit. And you told me within this next five years, it's going to get interesting. Are they doing that? It makes sense because gaming makes a lot more. Like, competitive esports makes... Is it esports and e-gaming and shit? Esports makes, I think, more a lot of money. Um, I, I saw, I was watching NPR and they made, I think it might make more money than the music industry. I could be wrong. Um, I think it does. It's bigger than movies and music. It's it has a hundred and eighty billion dollars in global revenue. I don't know if that's as much, but it's a lot. You'd be so fucking surprised. There's esports all over the place. It's nuts, and it's so diverse, and it's like very niche for a lot of different people. But like even in this game I'm playing, there's esports for World of Warcraft people who do arenas on three v threes or Mythic Plus, like wild shit. You'd be like, this is stupid. You would think it's dumb. It is kind of dumb, but it's 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 crazy. Um, you'd be so surprised, bro, how popular this shit is. It's nuts. Of course. Billions, hey, what up, brother? How you doing, brother? Billions of dollars. Who saw that chat? Y'all saw that shit? What I'm trying to say is it's just the beginning for this shit. And you told me within this next five years it's gonna get interesting. Because now Kick is a competitor to Twitch. This shit has only been a this shit was has only been a concept for a few months. You know what I'm saying? So it's like for me, we're gonna see so much shit and so much. And Rumble's more YouTube, right? Isn't it? Isn't, isn't that Sneeko? Am I wrong? Isn't Rumble like Rumble more? Rumble is Twitch and YouTube. We, we got Twitch and YouTube at the same time. Like, Kick is cool, whatever, bro. We host it on Amazon services. But you can't really upload videos like that. We got both at the same I time. Mean, and we got free speech. Fair enough. And we got our own cloud yeah. service. We're not owned by Amazon. Amazon also owns Switch, so it's pretty much well, the same well, exact fair platform. Fair enough. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get a word in. I'm going to get a word in. Okay. Uh, so you go. Kick gets posted on all the blogs. All right, Rumble gets posted nowhere. I mean, yeah, I Matrix platform. Whoa, whoa, Matrix I, I, platform. I, I just, I, I if, if, we're, if we're really gonna, if we're really gonna give credit about like influencers who started this like alternative platform shit, who really did it before me? Yo, I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell. What didn't?
Rumble gets started by like Nick Fuentes or something. A lot of people did it before him. What is he talking about? Um, I mean, I guess he was the biggest person to get banned and go on to an alternative platform. So you can argue that, but you didn't really start anything. Are you a major, a major concern of kick of mine. I, I don't. I think with kick, I don't know when the feds might kick the door down and say, "Hey, listen, yo, number one, y'all are." Straight copy and Twitch, like, like people, 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 it's, people, it's people, true. No, no, He's I, right. Kick is completely copying Twitch, and Rumble basically copies YouTube to some extent. Um, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. This is the problem, right? Is uh, people will complain about like, oh, it's not. There's nothing different. You don't necessarily need something different. Um, what you need to do is you like you want to be like, okay, I see an issue here, so I'm going to make this thing the same as this other thing, except I'm not going to have that issue. That's the way that you're supposed to operate. So the fundamental, the concept of like, let's say kick is like, okay, here's my issue with kick guys uh, versus Twitch. Uh, they're not, uh, this is what I'm assuming, but oh, they're not upfront about why they ban people. They're too restrictive on what you can and can't talk about. Um, they don't pay people well enough. So let's create a platform that addresses those problems. It's going to be the same platform, but not have those. But that's a good idea. I think that getting into this habit of trying to forcefully be different from something just to be different is very toxic. I'm going to be a little bit of a nerd, but um, there have been so many different World of War Warcraft clones historically since the inception of World of Warcraft and I played like all of them or a lot of them at least and there was one really big issue that they had and then what they did is that they would address some problems with World of Warcraft and then they would also change stuff that didn't need to be changed and that's why they failed because WoW would just be consistently good across the board with a couple of issues whereas these guys would like solve one problem and then create five more and it's like you don't need to just change just for the just the sake of change. Like make sure you do meaningful change. So you don't need to just randomly do a bunch of like crazy shit just for the fun of it. It should all be very like targeted. So <clears throat> y'all even have a just chat section. Yo, it's crazy. Y'all are straight copy and twist. Second of all, this whole shit is funded by gambling. There's really yes, like you're not wrong. Let me explain. I'm gonna explain because I'm the rapper. I'm wrong. I'm I'm, I'm Sneeko. Don't Sneeko. Sneeko, you bet. My Listen, Sneeko. Fuck that shit. You drank. That was Haram, and you also gambled. We've had a bet. That I night. Yeah. I didn't we, shit. we did bet, Sneeko. I bet you on that fight. Money. We bet. We 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 Sneeko. So Sneeko, don't be ironic. I want to say one thing. I want to say one thing about kick. Here's the thing. Classic sneaky tactics. Right? When when this shit when this shit is monetizable with, through advertisements and shit, it's uh -huh. gonna people don't really understand academics. What Kick is doing for small streamers and mid sized creators itself, no other platform has done it. Offered a ninety what is it a ninety five five split, offering a bunch of a bunch of great services. Yes, there's issues, there's problems. For example, my viewers just went from fucking sixty to ninety thousand in one second. There's there's influ there, there's problems with that. There, there is well, the biggest problem is going to be the uh, the audience that is there. That that's probably the biggest problem. I don't know how. I mean, I could be wrong. I don't know how sustainable a ninety five five split is. I feel like one of the biggest issues is that that split is not sustainable, and I think that uh, Train Rex made that right, and he knows that. But it's it's all to be able to pull as many people as possible in to make as much money as possible and I can respect it but like there's a lack of consistency there when you offer something like that I think there's an issue of people actually downloading the platform which is already a problem with Twitch uh, which is why I think YouTube is better there's just a better audience I have like the audience that I had on Twitch they were it was good audience but it wasn't a diverse audience and I didn't really like I like having this audience a lot better like there's more diversity I have different people who will join it. I'll still have some like younger, edgier, fun people. And then I'll have some like older people who want to like engage differently. And it's fun. I like that. But there's like an audience issue as well. Um, and that's one of the issues that Twitch already has. Now Kick is going to have that issue double because you have to like, you know, if you do it on your computer, you do it on your computer. But like you got to download the apps so that you can go here and. You know, I guess one of the things that's cool about YouTube, man, is that like you might just be scrolling around looking for a video to watch. All of a sudden, someone's stream pops up. You're like, oh, I'll give it a watch. And then you're watching somebody's stream. So, <clears throat> you know, it's issues across the board. Honestly, problems. There's issues, but it's so brand new. It's in beta. Give this shit some time. I get it. I get what you're saying. But once it's monetizable and it's really legit off advertisements and they sell ads and shit, you're going to understand. This shit yeah, is not like a pop of dub crypto to me. It seems like something that people are going to make a gambling bag off now. They're ripping off Twitch. And then as soon as the feds start knocking on your door for this gambling stuff and how it's not regulated in the U.S., then people are going to go find another platform. Well, to go look, on. well, look, well look, let me say this. Let me say this. You could say that. Cool. But once they sign these big creators, man, and it's, it, you know, there's a big there's a big names about to sign. You know, there's not really it's not really it's getting away from that. That won't be gambling. That won't.
won't be doing certain shit. You know what I mean? So, well, that if that's true, that's a problem. Two things. One, when you have uh, bigger creators come, people are going to be pay more attention, which is good and bad. That could mean that these bigger creators uh, will show bigger flaws. But if you're saying, hey, when the bigger creators come, come these things won't be wait. Yeah. You know, there's not really, it's not really, it's getting away from that. That won't be gambling. That won't be doing certain shit. You know what I mean? So, okay. Oh, okay. I see. I thought he was saying that the website was trying to get away from gambling. What he's saying is those individuals won't be doing gambling. So it will make it a more diverse platform. I think that's what he's saying. Okay. That's fair. Okay. That's how I see it. Uh, you know, I see that it's going to be cut in half. It's going to be split uh, up and everyone, every, you're going to get a little bit of every community on this shit. People that don't. Well, well, and you also have to think about, so one thing about kick that kind of scares me because I've, you know, as a creator, we do know that Eddie we essentially have Thank to you, create content where ads are rare. Right right Kick doesn't have, and honestly, Not I yet. don't. Well, I mean, you stream porn, like you know, what I mean, I don't think they're close. True. Say one thing, please. Do you what know this? Do you, do you? It was, and you guys both know I, I fucked up. Okay. Act yeah. Well, that's one of the problems, though, because it seems like Aiden is one of like the big pushers of this platform, and that porn thing really hurt. Um, I think I think it hurt the legitimacy of the platform a little bit because it's like, oh, yeah, this guy's like, oh, so what What do you have this like more like less restricted platform? So what's so, like some guy can stream porn to a bunch of kids like, come on, like be a little more mature. He kind of hurt them. You know, he hurt that a little bit in that brand wise. You know, it was a mistake. It'll, it'll, you'll get over it. But that was definitely a mistake. Academics. Didn't you say something about you fuck? You know what I'm saying? Academics about the college girls that 17 or I don't, you know what the fuck I'm talking about, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Oh, and Nico, <laughs> and Nico, you said, and Nico, you said you like cooties or whatever the fucking movie is. So suck my dick, both of you. I'm not going to get two of you one Why are you so heated right now? I'm, Why are you listen, so heated? Just let me say what I want to say, please. I'm fucking with both of you, academics. I know what you meant by that. I know what you meant by that. Everyone did. Listen. It's a two be fucking one. What is an academics like seventeen year old girl? I what is he talk? I don't even know what he's talking about. Um, this, I'm not well, okay. Let's just move on. At, do you know what Twitch is back? Do you know where it started ten years ago? Named Justin TV, and this shit was no. and this shit. You there used to be crazy shit being streamed on Justin TV. Crazy things like honestly comparable to this. Everyone said that they were reminded. You know what I'm saying by early uh, Justin TV to kick. But I can't stream porn again. I, if I do that, I'm gonna get banned. I, I you know I learned my lesson on that shit. Sneak up, stop smiling. I was fucked up. It was wrong. I get it, bro. I get it. I don't even watch porn. I haven't, I haven't jerked off since 2020, 22. Bro, this is, this is why Aiden has a new error every two weeks. It's so that he can just take away accountability for his act. Bro, you started off this year like, oh, 2020, 23, I'm on my grind. No haram. I'm meditating. I'm spiritualating yes. now, all this stuff. And then you signed to it. Bro, like so far, all jokes aside in this conversation, I hope it doesn't get worse. I hope that there's not something crazy that happens here. But like this is... It's, you know, this is going to sound crazy. This is a kind of a fun, pleasant conversation to watch. This is the first time I think I've watched a Sneeko conversation where I wasn't like, wow, Sneeko is such a fucking loser. Like, this is just kind of friends chatting and talking and just kind of enjoying each other and busting each other's chops um, without it getting too personal. People taking shots at each other. It's a it's a it's a it's a it's a breath of fresh air. I'll say, you know, it's a breath of fresh air. A gambling platform, which is literally it's not a gambling Wait, platform. You I drink alcohol. Gamble. You drink okay. alcohol. You, I know you, you enforce in threesomes. That's haram, cucko. Yeah. Listen. Yo, Aiden, Aiden, you're talking crazy right now. Bro, right now. Bro, sick of me. I open up my lead addiction. Fucking opioid addicts. I open up. I wish you would just be honest. I wish you would just be honest because we know the truth, right? It gets bad. No, um, it can't get bad. In, in, in a rare case, like, if, you know, I'm a smaller creator than you, but you're a huge creator. I think whatever bag, and you know, who knows what it is, whatever bag that kid gave you was astronomical compared to any, or, or, like, of course. Or, but do you understand? They're offering bags for people that are not going to be gambling, for one. For two, of course, bro, Steak, steak started kicking, got out there. It's it's not it's no information. Of course, they're funding it. But that should show you they have they have this money to fucking pay these creators who are deserving of their paycheck. The whole thing was this, and, and you guys can agree because you're on Rumble. Twitch underpays the fuck out of creators. Facts or cap? Just answer that. Probably, yeah. I don't know. I was banned in two days. I have no idea what Twitch is about. Okay, but it's it's a yes or no question. Does Twitch underpay their creators? Yes or no? It's an interesting question. I don't really know, man. I don't. I don't know. I I wonder. There are problems with Twitch. I wonder though. I get you have probably yeah. YouTube does a seventy thirty split, which seems pretty fair. Um, on their split, Twitch, it's like they do a fifty fifty on their donations which youtube edges them out but then um youtube does a um like a roughly 50 50 split on advertisement revenue and i don't know man for twitch 
I remember I wasn't getting very much money from ads and I get much more money for ads for the same view. Like, uh, so like after my streams over, I seem to get like the same amount of advert, like a lot more money. I think I make like, like this platform is smaller. You know, I restarted blah, 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 blah. Weird. No, I think I get like 500 bucks a month in ad revenue from my streams on this from like stream ad revenue versus I was getting like a hundred on Twitch. It was like weird. So like, yeah, I don't know if it, I, I, I feel like part of it's not even just getting underpaid, but I feel like nobody like the ads are so shit on um, Twitch that nobody watched. Does it make sense? Like people don't really watch them as much. I, I don't know how to articulate this. I don't know. But like they make you watch like a whole two minutes worth of ads, but it doesn't really seem to give you any money as the creator. Um but like on YouTube, they only have to watch like five seconds of an ad coming in. But for some reason, you get more money. I, I, I they, either they're underpaying or advertising revenue. Do, advertisers don't want to pay very much for Twitch ads because people aren't engaging them or something. I don't really know what it is, but they're definitely well, not pay as much as they could. By the way, no one really thought this strongly about creator pay until this year because you thought you were supposed to get almost nothing. Let's be honest, right? That's academics, that's academics. Can, if I told you the number that Twitch makes off of creators like Kai and XQC and et cetera. And, and if I told you what they were getting paid, mm -hmm. you would laugh. They are selling advertisements and making a fortune. And they're they really? they okay. pushing, they pushing these streamers to spam ads and their own communities to get mad at them. And you won't ever hear these, these Twitch puppets talk about it, you know, that are signed to these deals, you know, the sans and stuff. You won't ever hear them talk about it because <laughs> they, have, they have higher contracts than these other, these other streamers. For example, well, that's because Hassan, let's be honest, is a capitalistic cuck, okay? Let's be real, okay? He's the most capitalistic person. I don't know what it is, but there's something about him. Something about him, man. Okay, and I could say that because he's not Jewish, so it wouldn't be it wouldn't be anti-Semitic. But he seems to have his up. Uh, he seems to, he seems to have his uh, priorities not in a row. That's all I'm saying. Of course, it's true. Hassan has a, he, I think Hassan he has a Twitch deal, 100%. Come on, bro. Sneeko, would you agree? Twitch is a, is a far uh, left platform. No. Twitch is a far left platform, but Kick is not that. Different. Twitch is not a far left platform. What are you talking about? Maybe some people on it are. In general, saying like leftist things is like safer than anything else. But for, I don't know if I would call it a far left platform. Conservatives are still on there. Like, let's say wild shit. I mean, so okay, whatever. I don't really think he's different somewhere. than, oh, than Twitch, God, bro. And also, don't you have gambling requirements to be on Kick? Like, isn't that in the contract that you have? Like, I, I didn't have to. I took it for extra money, and I enjoy gambling. That's what I do. So that's Wait, what do you mean? Does it have a gambling requirement? No way. It's not in the contract for everybody else in there that they have to have required gambling. No, hours. no. You're going to see Destiny. I, he's a streamer. He doesn't gamble. Uh, you're going to see more creators sign that don't gamble. No. Okay, okay. So where's the money coming from? I just told you. It's Everybody obviously, be, bro. Yourself, I told you, bro. They, they're, they're not monetizing right now. They're probably losing money. I don't know. They're building their platform uh, from the ground up and they're becoming, uh, they're going to be, they're going to be monetizing when they have ads. This seems kind of pump and dumpy. Yeah. Well, no, I don't think it seems pump and dumpy at all. It seems like uh, an inconsistent business decision to me. I don't know. I don't know how to see how it would be pump and dumpy. I guess maybe, but I don't know. It seems more like um, they're sitting here and they're like, let's get a bunch of big streamers in here and then hopefully advertisement revenues come afterwards, which just makes sense. It doesn't. It makes sense. It's just. Um, it seems inconsistent. That's what I'm saying. It's like 95 five split of donations. I'm assuming that's what it is. I, I don't know, man. It, I, I wonder if it's going to last. Like, if I was the creator, I would definitely go over there if they're going to give you a really good deal because, like, you're getting a really good deal. Um, so, obviously, it would make sense to kind of, like, capitalize on that in the short term. But I don't know, man. That seems like it might be a little unsafe to do. That's just what I think. It sounds like it might be a little bit of a risk. It might be naining as, as, the, as the kick platform itself. So how is, Rumble, how is Rumble monetizing? Let me ask you. I'm just curious. Hey, yeah. <laughs> All right. So look, how long, how long, how long, how long has Rumble, how, how long has Rumble been up for? Rumble's been out for a couple years. Okay, there you go. You know how long Kick has been up for? A couple, uh, months. couple months. ago. What I'll definitely say about Rumble that, exactly. that made me a little bit encouraged as a creator is that it's more, you know, it's been they around increased longer. their revenue um like it was my like three times from 2021 to 2022, which means they're in an upward climb. Clearly they have some type of monetization strategy and some way to make income. I always thought with Kick that like, yo, listen, this <clears> is <throat> obviously to promote stake, but you're also at the, at the, like okay. you're at the risk of uh, potentially one day, Kick just gets shut down. 
No, and they have their own. They have their own contract signed and stuff, bro. They're protected. They're and and here's the thing. That's why well, you that guys are. Happen. You can't be so quick. You. Can't. I don't know about getting shut down. I don't know if they meant like like the government's gonna go. No, kick. You can't do this. I don't think that would ever happen. I think he's more referencing the fact that like it might not be consistent enough to be able to stay up, and they might end up just kind of going like falling by the wayside. I'm assuming that's what he meant more than anything else. Can't be so quick to judge. You just said Rumble's been out for years. Kick's been out for months. There's a big difference, bro. If, in two years, if Kick does not have ads, then there's a problem. Okay, but can you agree that the basis of Kick is gambling? The basis of Rumble you, has it, always it, been. It's gonna be. It's gonna be flattened out once these big creators take these checks. And don't. I don't think it's the basis, but it's the reason why it was created. So if like it, I guess it, that's how it gets its. Uh, so I guess it's fair to say that's how it got. Like that's the name it's going to get is gambling, since that's like how it became a thing is gambling. Um, so yeah, I guess it's a that's a, not an unfair thing to necessarily say. Okay. Oh, gamble. Kick was built around gambling. Kick was, was, always... was built, funded from stake. Of course, it's, it's there. You go. You can, oh, but, that's, so that's you public, but that's but, I mean, Sneeko, That's that's public information that, that everyone knows. And yeah, I'm comparing but, it to Rumble. Rumble was based around free speech from the start. It was own services. It's only like I'm, I'm nobody just, I'm just is to be banned. They allow every, I'm, They I'm allow free curious. speech. That's the basis of Rumble. I'm curious though. I'm curious because I've never and, I, and I'm not saying this to hate on and Rumble. I'm not. You know, there was a point in time where I wanted to be on Rumble. You know what I'm saying? And I still am exploring that. Who the fuck is on Rumble? Who the fuck watches Rumble? I'm, I'm, I'm serious. Who? A lot of people. The entire. This is a good argument though, because I, I pers and I could be wrong, but I feel like the people on Rumble, um, are individuals who can't be on YouTube, and you're gonna have a very intense, divisive audience that probably is just like the dregs that are left. You know, um, the people that are like so ass hurt by YouTube, they want to like move to another platform, kind of a thing. They they're looking for like you know I guess free speech, but in a weird way because you see plenty of conservatives on that are able to work on YouTube. Like you got your Ben Shapiro's and shit and Matt Walsh's and they say like wild shit sometimes and they're still on there and they should be. I'm not saying they should get banned or anything. My point is, is that like, you know, when you got people that you can actively be like actually like incredibly toxic to like trans people and go fucking crazy. Like, how is it that you get banned off of YouTube? Like, it seems kind of hard comparatively. Um, Kick, you know, seems like an alternative to Twitch though. And that makes sense because Twitch is on its way out. So, I feel like the audience is probably better on kick or it will has the potential to be better at the very least. How about I could be wrong? Conservative population in America, all the MAGA people. Oh, Trump specifically. Wait, wait, wait. I think y'all doing the wrong thing here. Yeah. Plus, they seem to be grabbing like better people too. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? This is so cringe. I'm fucking locked in here. I can't do anything. Um, yeah, they got like Gideon and shit on, on kick, right? Oh, they're on Rumble for oh Jimmy. Jimmy got a Rumble. Oh, well, that might legitimize the platform a little more. You know, if they get some like somewhat normal people on there. Okay. I'm trying to make this. First of all, these are two like with all due respect and, and shit. I'm on Rumble now too, but these are two small goldfish competing in a aquarium filled it's with not. the sharks. Here's the funny part. Here's the Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Like you guys are talking about kick versus Rumble, but in reality, here's the point. You know, me and you definitely, um, Aiden, we came from from in a live stream background from Twitch. Yes. And I'm wondering what's the future of Twitch and what should a Twitch creator be thinking about now? Now they're competitors. For me, you know, even though I, I'm loyal to YouTube. Uh, that is an interesting question. Cause I mean, I would say go to, I think for smaller creators, go to YouTube. It's not even worth it to be on Twitch anymore. But the only way that Twitch really works is if uh, you're gonna also do TikTok. Honestly, I know that sounds really bizarre, but I only think that Twitch works if you decide to also do TikTok. If you are Twitch streaming right now and you are not and you're a smaller creator, especially, and you're not streaming, dual streaming on TikTok, which you are allowed to do, then you're wasting your time. It is honestly like your best bet, like in general, because Twitch um doesn't have I feel like people are leaving Twitch, like audience people. It's not like really that much of a decent platform. You're better off deciding to be like oh you know what if you stream on both because there are plenty of people that'll scroll in the for you page on tiktok tiktok is a little underrated in that capacity and they'll see your shit so i feel like you know get on that but nobody you got to do that um in general uh if you're a bigger creator it, it makes sense to get a big contract i don't know if youtube does contracts you know but if you're a small creator i would say youtube or at the very least dual stream on fucking twitch and uh tiktok Really is your best bet. <clears throat>
well, in the sense of making videos, but have I always wondered if there could be a competitor to host videos? I remember looking at Vimeo. I remember looking at other platforms. Yeah. Because when one person has a monopoly over any space, and we're just talking business-wise, this is what I'm saying. Having the kick versus rumble conversation, that's like keeping it on a base level. You can go tip for tat all day long. But in reality, the whole reason why Aiden, I would imagine you left, and also the reason why I said, hey, let me go try another platform, is because... Twitch, who had the monopoly on streaming, clearly they were lacking a few things. And I'm wondering, what does all these other platforms, what does Sneeko being on Rumble, me being on Rumble? They do contracts sometimes. Who do they have contracts with for YouTube streaming? I, I just wonder. It's interesting. Well, you being on Kick and Speed being oh, on we've YouTube, had, at, we've okay. at least for the moment, what does that do to Twitch's market share? What's the fucking that's goal? It's a monopoly. But it's only going to be leftists. It's only going to be blue haired people. With PewDiePie and Ludwig. Interesting. Okay. That's what I'm saying to you, bro. It's ironic, right? Well, that's not what you said. You also said, who's watching Rumble? Look, everybody in your stream, I said, and especially. I said that too. I said that, and here's why I said that. It's because no, personally, you, you my demographic. Sneeko, 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 I'm going to double down. I did say that. Personally speaking, I don't have Rumble down on my phone. I have my demographic. I'm asking you guys who has Rumble down with it. I don't know if you guys do it. I'm asking you who watches Rumble. I'm genuinely, I asked that. Who watches Rumble? Every Tate supporter, probably half the people who watch your stream, if they watch any emergency meeting or if they want to watch Andrew Tate, Andrew Tate is blocked everyone, off of TikTok. Everyone, everyone, that sounds pretty cringe every andrew tate supporter it sounds like a reason to not go there <laughs> it's fucking cringe as hell holy fuck okay every tate supporter uh oh oh my oh my favorite people and on youtube no. everyone say you know here sneeko i'm not i just asked the question i said who watches from okay, okay, you can you stream on youtube and twitch at the same time too or is that not, so you can you can do that it's technically against the, the contract on twitch if you're partnered or whatever or um you're if you if you make if you can get subs on twitch it's either partnered or whatever else it is affiliated. You're technically not supposed to stream on YouTube at the same time. But you can do it on TikTok. Like you're allowed to do that. See how stupid that is that all of your fan base loves Tate. You just we started this I conversation. Love too. I love Andrew Tate. Okay. So we started this conversation talking about Trump. Trump no. is exclusively on Rumble. First, Tate first, is exclusively tried, on Rumble. At first what I tried to do with this conversation was I tried to talk about Twitch and then you came after me for kick. So I have to of course uh, guard my, my platform. This is my baby. You know well, what I'm saying? Uh, okay, so, so you don't see what I'm saying. We started this conversation talking about Trump and how that experience was. But then Rumble got up. Rumble got brought up. You threw jabs, so I have to jab back. And so it's not a jab. Where does Trump it's a question? Where does Trump stream? Donald Trump Jr streams on rumble where does donald trump senior stream i don't know does he does he stream he streams all of his rallies all of his speeches <laughs> rumble. Yeah, hold on. I, still trump. Think I love trump still it, 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 actually this is a real question and again listen listen i i know i'm on rumble but i don't look at this as a rumble versus kick thing bro it's not you know, it's not it's not I look at this as, listen we are all streamers yo when we all see each other in the fight we're all chilling cracking jokes we all our communities all intermingle somewhere or another what, what this is meaning for yeah, all of us is that we as streamers finally get the chance to choose. Right. And that's the most important thing. So I, I, ask, I, I ask you in the sense of... It's not competition because Kick is winning. That's why I chat. And, and again, this is not a got you nothing. <laughs> do you think Kick is at the point of sustainability where a mid-sized streamer, right? Not a, not a superstar like yourself, could get on... And Please. say they're not gambling and they just want to go stream some shit and yep. they could actually yes. they could actually have an audience that will come to them yep. rather than the That's an interesting question. I I'm starting to understand what he's saying with the gambling shit. He's saying most of the audience that followed there are mostly like gamblers, like the passive audience. And so people who are looking for something interesting, um, do you think that they would go go to a mid or the smaller size streamer, like a mid size, like a successful mid size streamer? Um that's not gambling and actually get hits. That's a good point. I don't know. I guess that's a great question. Um, can, I mean, can they do that on Rumble either? Probably not. I think most of these people really seem to be. I mean, I guess I just don't know. Maybe I just don't know enough about Rumble. Maybe they could, but. Like, again, Aiden's my friend. Me and Aiden, we talk hip hop. We talk everything. Aiden will call in to give his opinion about whatever. But put it like this. If, if, if I'm on Twitch at the moment, I can't talk to Aiden. Right? I can't talk to Aiden because, you know, the platform has banned him or whatever the case is. Or I can't talk to Sneeko. I've never talked to Sneeko on stream till, till now. When I go to Miami, That's crazy. when I go to Miami, I talk, I see Sneeko all the time. You know what I mean? And, and obviously, we're trying to abide by these platforms' rules, but we're, we're getting to realize that us creators kind of have a little bit more control than we probably thought we did. You know? Yeah, for sure. Um, and that's the thing. I, I want to just say, bro, thank you for fucking saying that, pointing that out. It's true, bro, because. You know, you brought the right idea. I think now it's time for creators to get value for what they do. Um, That's fair. And you yeah. see streamers, the big streamers starting to stream less nowadays. And you see them trying to really kind of like, I guess you could say, 
kind of like it's like an off they're waiting for offers to be sent out and they're, they're going back uh, except for like well, that was weird. like i just think i just think we're it's like a literal free agency type shit like people should really be getting paid for what they what they should be what they're worth Yo, it, to a lot of people who yeah for sure uh, that's obviously not going to happen until you have more competition that's one of those things like you know there has been a monopoly for so long with twitch and that has been changing most, I think, to YouTube. I think that TikTok is a more bigger competitor than people really do realize. It's it's a little more passive, though. Um, so, you know, that is a good point, though. That, that the competition is good. That's the good thing about it. It keeps uh, people in line. Like Twitch and R or yeah, Twitch, Rumble, Kick, those top forms doing well enough. It, it it keeps enough of a threat on YouTube to pay us well. <laughs> That's the way I look at it. So, keep it up, guys. Who are in my community? Who might just not know what streaming really is? They look at it like, what are you talking about? But it's like, we're talking about streamers who are more lit than rappers. Streamers who could command an audience that a rapper or a label wish they could actually interact with without paying. Right. If you think those people aren't valuable enough or shouldn't think about their future on a business level, granted, some of these people are kids. Some yeah. of these, when I mean by kids, like, bro, if you're 21 and you have 80,000 people watching you, like, you're not even going to think about the business ramifications of what that means. But there is. And, you know, I've been in this shit for a while, so I know that. But that's why no matter where um, Aiden would go, Kai, Bruce, your rage, shit. All that. And shit. Is that you, me Sneeko, or them? Like, what's happening? Your rage, shit. All that. Oh, it's them. And shit. You, Sneeko, like, it's a reason why you still exist. Because you do know they hit you for the juggler when they got you off, off YouTube. They did that to take two. Yeah. So I look at these sure. things and I'm like, yo. Yo, if we don't realize that this is a golden time and golden era in every, in streaming history, it's not going to continually and perpetually happen all the time. But right now, everyone has to force these companies to respect you as a creator. If you don't do it now, you're fucked. I promise you. So what do you... Yeah, and, and, and again, that's what that's what that conversation goes to Twitch. I heard... I don't know if anyone saw this. I heard something about Twitch wanting to take... Uh, what they say? Twitch wanted to take 50% of sponsorships or something like that? I saw something like that on Twitter. I don't know how real that you is. You said that. Um, I really don't. That, My understanding is that they they increased they created this uh, this sponsor program where they would help you get reach out to sponsors through like some kind of whatever the fuck. How the fuck do I inspire these idiots? Okay. Um, where they would like they would help you, you know, set up a what like whatever. They would help you figure it out by providing you like a list or some shit in some capacity. Um, and but they take like fifty percent. I think that's I saw that on Moist Critical. It's an interesting concept. The concept makes sense to do that, but it kind of seems it seems a little silly to take that much. It seems a little bit. It seems like they're trying to take as much as possible, which is not very smart about that. Like you know, there's you gotta you kind of have to hit like that ebb and flow. Like you have to hit that uh, that midpoint of like how much is too much to take. You know. Also, there's a hundred percent favoritism on uh, on Twitch too. I want to say. Um, sure. Hassan showed a video of a guy dying, like actual dying, and, and XQC made a great point, a valid point. XQC said, if I showed that same video, I think I would have gotten banned, or at least a warning or something. Maybe. Hassan made, made my clean, I got warned or whatever, but you know, that's, that's something I do want to add in there. So Twitch does have its favorites. Maybe. Bro, sure. I got banned for 30 days at first for, for showing somebody who died. He, didn't, he wasn't dying, he was just dead. Wait, and, really? Uh, yeah. That's and then, how you got banned they, for real? Yes. So they reduced it. That's how you know, chat. They've reduced it, and and I'm like, all right, I guess. But again, you know, one thing I think Twitch is learning, and, and I'm not. Did Hassan show a guy dying, or did he show a news thing? I wonder what happened. I, I, I don't care to enough. be anti Twitch so. or anti any platform. I I think what Twitch is lacking is what Rumble is good at, and I think Kick is good at. Like I see train wrecks. I see, I see Eddie like literally trying to respond to people. I see someone was like. Hey, what about the viewerships? And I see him trying to respond to I people. I love that about Eddie. That's what I, that's one thing I will say. And and again, I I, uh, I met Chris. I fuck with Chris by the way. I just want to put that out there. Good guy too. Seems like a good guy. Um, as of a conversation we've had. But look, Eddie is on Twitter, and these guys are all on Twitter. They're really trying to look at problems. Eddie is is uh, one of the owners of uh of Kick. Um, anyways, he's on this shit, and he's he's scrolling, and he's on Twitter, and he's just trying to find out and, and, and you know diagnose problems and really figure out what people are saying and. He's recognizing the problems. It's in beta, bro. Like, for example, no. I'm get, I get, I got follow botted fucking a week ago. My viewers are going from ninety to seventy. Like they fluctuate. Fucking, he is aware of the problems. They're yeah, fixing. kind of crazy on on your stream. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, same thing. Yo, 
you know, before, they, before we no, actually, 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 let, me, let, let me just finish real quick. But the thing is about Eddie is and, and Kick, they're taking accountability. They're saying we're looking into this. We're, we're constantly trying to fix this shit. We're coming up with updates regularly. They got a mobile app out so quick, bro. I don't think people really understand how fast that was to get that mobile app out. Like they have a really a fucking great team working on everything. They have a great amount of people who are constantly listening to feedback and, and, and you know, criticism and all these things. And they're really can looking out. Can Nick stream my kick? Did who? Can Nick? I don't know if he violates the US, he might get banned. I mean, you sh Nick is a is a literal fucking like not. You just should never say yes to that. Nick is a liability for pretty much any platform. He's like he's he really is like a next level like scum piece of shit like anti semitic piece of fucking garbage. Um, Sneeko really, I don't know. I don't understand the obsession with Nick and being his friend with somebody who thinks that like he shouldn't have been born because he doesn't believe that people should be able to mix race. It's fucking really weird behavior. Uh, from Sneeko <clears throat> to be like on this guy's dick so hard like it really is just such bizarre behavior I mean the guy thinks that sleeping with black people is a degenerate act like similar to sleeping with a fucking dog I just don't understand I, I don't get it I don't get the obsession anyone talking about source code it's public look it up kick, kick has its own source code I'm just, I'm just saying anyone, anyone saying that they copy twitch you can google it's, it's public information isn't it yeah, yeah, and by the way, it's you know, it, it, in terms of being very reactive to the creator, man. Like right before we went to the UFC event, me, Gideon, you know, Chris from Rumble, we, we went to we went to a restaurant and like we're sitting there and I'm watching Gideon like literally criticize the criticize Rumble, saying I need this, I need this, I need this. And Chris was all it. I need all these things to make me successful. It's great. And you know what he did? Okay, cool. We're gonna get we're gonna get this done. We're gonna get this done. We're gonna get this done. Yeah. Right, we're working on this. Why did you get banned? We still don't know. Yeah, I mean that that's good. This makes sense for them to do that. But also keep in mind that they kind of have to do that. I think um it's and it's 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 something to keep in mind, you know, as things will become bigger, you have to kind of change the way that you interact with problems. So if you're like a really small nothing platform that's desperate for, you know, anything. Uh to get like uh, you know, the best some really good people on there, you're gonna listen very intently in a different way but as you get bigger you know things happen and infrastructure happens where it's like okay i don't know if i can do this thing for this person um because it might sacrifice a part of your platform so yeah i mean that's cool that's good it's a it's good but you know i don't know how sustainable that is as it ex if it, it can expand you know on twitch yeah because um, honestly I felt that put you in an interesting position. So, 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 I'm gonna, I, I'm not really, it, you know, it's, it's constant, it's, 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 I'm allowed to speak on why I got banned. I am, but I'm not gonna talk too much on it because it's in, it's in my lawyer's hands now. Because I'll tell you what, what because I got indefinitely suspended for an unmoderated chat when every streamer has a chat on their screen and, and they, they, everyone, there's no way so I can fully moderate their chat. Every streamer has a chat on their top right of their screen and, 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 it, you know, yeah, that's why I got banned. No way. Oh yeah, that makes sense. You, so I feel bad for Aiden. You're wasting your money on the lawyer. You're gonna lose. Um, <clears throat> so apparently he this confirmed that he got banned for an unmoderated chat because they were spamming slurs in his like kick chat chat with those on the stream. I believe that's what it was. His kick chat was on the screen and they were spamming slurs. You can moderate that. First of all, you have a lot of money. So you can figure that out. Second of all, you can ban words or phrases. And if that's not a feature of that platform, then that platform clearly it needs has worked that needs to be done. Um, you're going to lose that, Aiden. Uh, you're going to, you know, you just take the L now because you're wasting your money. But OK. Well, 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 it, that was just an excuse. See, like, when, they, when they don't like your political agenda, Twitch will just find a reason to ban you for. Yeah, your political agenda is not saying the F slur and the N word constantly in the chat like that would have put an agenda. <laughs> It's so normal that they're like, yeah, we don't want this associated with us, especially from a big time streamer. But not everything's a political agenda. Everything. This is like the problem because now, like, the accountability doesn't exist. We talk about people who talk about how accountability needs to exist while they don't take accountability. Like, platforms simply don't want you to be able to spam slurs in the chat. It's not that like a hot of a take. They want to maintain a respectful platform that doesn't like tolerate that kind of hate speech. That's like. Even like Ben Shapiro, and I, I use him as an example, would want that banned. They'd be like, yeah, I don't want, he's, he might be like, I don't like gay people or I don't think you should be gay, but he wouldn't say, all right, guys, spam the F slur in the chat, LOL. Like, it's still not a good look. You don't want to look like that. I don't know what to tell you. It's it's just like, it, it's immature, it's unprofessional, it's hateful, and it stokes people up for towards like hatred. So...
absolutely nothing. It happened to me too. They just didn't like the fact that Aiden was associating himself with Tate, and so they found a reason to delete him. Yeah, yeah, right. Even though this happened for what a year or two, he was doing that for like a year. He's the one who brought him on there, and they didn't ban him. I don't know what you're talking about. That's a very bad conspiracy theory. Why he got banned? He got banned because they they saw <sighs> their biggest streamer go live and say go to another website, which is a competitor. That's why they wanted to ban you. If they if they gave you any mm. other bullshit. What I will say is this though too. Can I just say one thing? And, and all you guys saying fact and true, cool. Think about it like this. Okay, I'm thinking. If I was another streamer, just, okay. let's just say I'm fucking, um, let's just say I'm fucking uh, Hassan. I don't want to use Hassan and shit. Let me just say I'm another Twitch streamer. If I'm another Twitch streamer and my chat is being unmoderated, in the bottom left, I have my chat right now, okay? If my chat is being unmoderated, if I'm a regular Twitch streamer, okay? Do you think if, if someone is typing in slurs or, or, or Nazi symbols, for example, okay? Do you think that I would be indefinitely, do you think that, that a regular streamer would be indefinitely suspended for that? No, yes. absolutely not. It, absolutely it's, it's not. Abs yes, absolutely. What? What are you talking about? Absolutely. What, that's it's you're being silly. You're you're a victim. You're victimizing yourself. So if Hassan in this mystical world, Hassan had a completely unmoderated chat and there were a bunch of constant F slurs, yes, he would have been banned. But they do that. It's a it's a, the problem is what you got banned for was so basic. That like it's crazy that you just weren't you didn't have the common sense to make sure that you did the right thing in the first place. That's the problem here. That's the biggest issue. You just didn't have the common sense to do the right thing in the first place. Um, that's kind of on you, man. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course you'd get banned for that. Of course you would be. Of course, if Hassan had a bunch of like N words and F slurs and shit going through the chat, he would be. Of course, of course he would be banned if he was like intentionally not moderating it, which is what you were doing. What are you talking about? Clearly, the Twitch has a, a specific political agenda. Yeah, no, you can just flag specific words. That's the thing. You could just make it so that words don't go through if you want, at least on Twitch and YouTube. So if that's the case, then why wouldn't you do that? Because he wants people to be able to say slurs. That's the thing. He's, so it's like, okay, you want that type of free speech for people. Well, they're, they're, guess what? Twitch is going to exercise their free speech and ban you from the platform. Like, just, you know, be a little bit more of a man about it, at least. Like, don't be such a coward about everything. Like, oh, I'm a victim. Oh, do you think that if I was spamming slurs, if it was anybody else, they would get banned? Yes. Yes. The same way that they're not covering Rumble for signing you and signing Jadeon because they want to go box Rumble in because it's an actually free speech website. They want to box it in. Chat, I said right definitely suspended. Trump's on here and tapes on here. There, there's a yes, very I clear political agenda with all these that. sites. The reason they don't see Kick as a problem is because Kick doesn't really have a political agenda. Kick <laughs> it sounds like even Aiden's chat's disagreeing with him on that one. That's actually funny. Because <laughs> is, is, is a gambling platform and it doesn't really okay, have and an again, And again, I, know under, I understand why you keep saying gambling platform. It is funded by state. I get that. I completely do. Public information. But you're going to see a completely different separation within this year. I'm telling you, you'd be surprised who's signing, Sneeko. Like, a lot of a lot of people are signing to this platform that aren't going to be, that are not going to be gambling per contract. I'm sure, I'm sure they're signing, but we'll, we'll see. I'm, I'm just saying, we'll see how long it lasts. And then, and then, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean but you're, but, but Sneeko, it seems like you're hating. It's like ignorant. I'm not hating. I'm, no, I'm not hating. You're trying to be factual. I get it. I understand logical. Rumble's been a thing for two years. This shit's been a few months. I'm comparing, your, I'm comparing what you're saying about the leftist streamers and how they Pokemon and them get favorited on Twitch for the they're same all, reason. But, 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 these, but these people are all for saying what you want. They do. It's just like you're using horrible examples of that. You're trying to like justify the usage of slurs through your examples. It's just a shit example, dude. What are you talking about? Fucking wild, dude. These people are crazy. It's crazy shit. <clears throat> I say, but they don't like hate speech. And I, and I honestly, bro, that's why um, uh, I want to start fueling hate with love. You know what I'm saying? And that's why everyone should be doing it. Okay, so... We're all we're on the same page there. Then you know we are. My point was that there's a specific political agenda that Twitch wants. Twitch wants you to be watching hot tub streamers. Twitch wants you to not do push-ups. No, they don't no. want any self improvement. As soon as you started doing push-ups, this is the problem. Like that's just dumb. That's a, that's not even like it's just not. It's just so dumb. To, or they want you to. Twitch wants to make money. It's so weird that like in these uh, conspiracy theories, they make up silly things that all of us know are not true. Like they just want money, and that can be a problem. Like we criticize that they don't care about anything. They care about money and safety. They don't care about protecting their creators. That's true, but there's no magical matrix political agenda going on here. They're just fucking greedy companies, and then you pretend otherwise, and you just look like a fucking idiot. Like it does. I stop with the conspiracy theories. They don't care what you're looking at. They want to make money. They're not trying to direct you towards specific things other than whatever makes them the most money without with the least stress uh, uh, attached to it. That's all that it comes down to. That's it. As soon as you started motivating your audience, that's and, when they, and, and, and no, remember when I said, guys, stop watching porn, and then Hassan called me a full right. Remember he called me. Remember he said that. You said you said you're going full right, right for for doing pushups. It, it's not about the moderated chat. I, as much as I'm not a big fan of Hassan, I doubt that that's exactly what happened. 
I'm sure it had more to do just like with overall everything. Like, I mean, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I doubt it was just for saying, because I'm pretty sure I watched part of that. And it sounds like, yeah, you should go to the gym. You should do these things. There are really good things for you. Um, but it was more of the overall rhetoric that he, Aiden was doing was like pushing him down like an alt-right pipeline. I don't know if I agree with it, but it wasn't just like, oh, once you started exercising and saying that's good, blah, blah, blah. You know, like you should exercise, but none of these guys give you advice. By the way, guys, I'll say it every time. If you want to get into weightlifting, go look up by 5x5 five five Strong Lifts, Mark Ripto. It's a great like uh, routine that you definitely want to run um, that'll actually help you like work out. It's more than just go gym. That's all they keep saying. They don't give you any directions. Looking up to people like Alan Thrall, stuff like that. These are actual resources that'll help you. Um, you you want to do a, a high frequency, low volume uh, routine when you first start, so that you can really get into it. You can start getting good at like the major compound lifts. So there's some real advice for you instead of just like, oh, go go gym, lol, gym go burr. You know what I'm saying, dude? It's crazy. They didn't like your political ideology. I agree with you. Like, I agree. There's a reason why the word simp is banned on Twitch. I don't. Is it really? Yeah, that is crazy. Simp is banned off Twitch, and sit. And you know what's is crazy? It still? Um, wow. Twitch still has gambling on their platform, by the way. I don't know if anyone ever talks about it. They have um, Amazon and uh, Twitch. They have a multi. You know what I kind of find funny about this whole narrative that like there's a there's a special like magical um, like political bullshit on there is that Twitch is the only platform that bans people for saying things like cracker. They banned Hassan for saying cracker, and they're like Hassan gets special treatment, maybe, but they banned him for saying cracker. They take us like an active stance against like white race, like anti-white racism. Which, if you're going to be a like politically correct company, you wouldn't take that stance. You would just justify that racism, like 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 a bunch of other like fucking dumb losers will do on the internet. So it's kind of funny that they're they're saying this, but it's a virtue signal when it comes down to it, uh, and it's kind of silly. A billion dollar deal academics with the NFL. I don't know if you knew this about uh, sports betting, and uh, the reason why gambling got banned in the first place from Twitch was because of a sports better who lost his money, who had nothing to do with state. Also, I'm pretty sure you could still do FanDuel and DraftKings on Twitch and they have the same slots such as Sweet Bonanza and shit. Um, I'm just, just clarifying that for everyone. So it's the same fucking pragmatic they, play. They still they, have it. They definitely said that if you're uh, doing fantasy picks, like for example, like price picks is completely legal. Hey, yo, yo, I always wanted to ask you this, Aiden. Because again, I've always said, you know, bro, you're a huge creator. Like you're bigger than me, you're bigger than Sneeko. Damn. You, no, no, that's the truth. Did you not have these conversations? Because I talk to people at Twitch. <laughs> you got offended by that and one. And they've talked to me at times and been like, hey, listen, how about you change this up? Because, you know, you're kind of going against the TOS. We're, we're, we're going to give you a warning, but just change it up a little bit. And it's never about my pain. They'll be like, hey, you know, your sub goal is not whatever, whatever. It, it just seems like there's no way you should be this disconnected with the, the people who you're probably making millions of dollars for, or you were. The Bradoxian super shatted ten dollars. Oh, thank you, thank brother. What's you, up? Papa Gut, for all of your hard work. Thank you. I don't. Work I have hard, not but found a that. commentary channel that I truly enjoy until I discovered you. Oh, thank you. Well, I like that. That makes me happy. That makes me smile. Thank you. I really do appreciate that. Um, yeah, that's cool, man. I like that. That's cool. I like those messages. Those are the cool guys. When people say shit like that, it's pretty cool. Not like actual shit. Like I'm not trying to be rude, but like stuff like that makes me happy. You know, that's kind of like what I'm going for. I'm just trying to be a normal fucking guy with like normal takes. I'm not trying to be like this crazy divisive fucking psychopath. So I, I like messages like that, bro. Thank you. You made me horny. I appreciate I don't get that. that. I never got on Twitch's front page. They never follow me on social media. They never reached out to me. Um, they is offered me. It's wow. crazy. This is one thing that I have a really successful manager, a really great manager who got me this deal. But I did have a, some type of crazy ad deal with Twitch. That I'm gonna, I'm gonna say out loud. I don't care. Um, I had a, I had a crazy ad deal with Twitch. It was a non-exclusive ad deal, and I would pump ads and make more, honestly, more money than I should be I've been making at one point. What's the number though? You just hinted that you're gonna say the number. Wait, but he. I was weird because before he was like, oh, if you knew how much money they made off these ads and how much they paid their creators for ads, like the big people like Kai Sinat and stuff, you'd be saying like that's crazy. But then he's saying that they get huge ad deals. So I'm just a little confused now. Um, I imagine Kai would get the same deal, but maybe not number i mean i'm not gonna get into specifics but i'm telling you like i had a crazy fucking ad deal like they gave me it was more than it was more than fucking was wild, i think only like another one question. one or two other creators had it literally like i know for a fact it's fucked oh, up okay. kai doesn't even have it he deserves it oh okay like i, I know for that. a fact kai does not have it and he 100 deserved that deal um really yes and now that you're not on twitch why are you shifting away from political streams why do you want to go back to like similar stuff that you're doing on like, why do you not want to talk stressful. about politics anymore because i think this world needs love bro and I honestly like i, was I think it's more just because it's it's stressful it stresses people out doing shit like that and i can understand that you know making it stressful to like talk about or engage in politics stuff because you get a lot of heat so it makes sense to just want to be like kind of fucking normal you know
Nothing wrong with that. I was going through, I know, I knew, I knew crack a joke, bro, but lean is fucking addicting. I, I was downplaying it. I was actually addicted to that shit for longer than five fucking days, chat, and everyone. Um, and okay. honestly, bro, like I was just in a super toxic yeah. mindset and I was getting pissed off easily and the demons were getting brought out of me, bro. We gotta look like this, bro. You talk about it yourself. You said a lot of, you, you talk about it with Chris. You said, Chris, a lot of kids look up to you. A lot of, you have a lot of influence on the internet. So do you, Sneeko. Kids look up to, kids look up to you, right? And people look up to you. Not even just kids. People in general look up to you. They're like, oh my God, Sneeko's oh. saying some real shit. I saw at UFC, Sneeko, some, some, uh, like some UFC security guy walked up to you. He was like, Sneeko, keep doing what you're doing, bro. I look up to you. Like, you know, I remember that guy. That's crazy. And I just think adding in love and, and instead of hate, bro. And, and again, I, 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 the past month, bro, I feel like that just wasn't me. Like, it's just like, I, 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 have, I have my beliefs on things, bro. I made a mess. Like, you point? can get political without yelling at fat women and calling them whales. The, the, you can still be political but, 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 and promote But again, that's, 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 that, that was out of context. Well, it's nice that you know that because you shouldn't be doing that too. Uh, that's the problem is Nico does similar shit like that. He just yells instead of makes good points. That's why people don't really give a shit about him. I'm sure there are people. That's what like delegitimizes him from like normal people being like, wow, this guy is so smart. It's because he just starts yelling and going, Bleh, you know, my wife. <laughs> Context, and you know, that was, you know that was out of context. That girl was under a lot of my tweets, ten of my tweets at least, attacking my community and shit. My point is that they don't have to be mutually just, exclusive. You can you can still talk about that stuff and, I'm saying, and not have I'm to saying be. in general, if that person come out of my tweet and I saw that, I would just scroll through it right now because I'm in a better headset than I was. I'm, off this shit. And I'm gonna be honest, like separate and aside from everything what was Nico saying, like even when I watched that that, that guy name was a Patrick CC video. Bro, there was like an overtone of them kind of almost saying like you you've just gotten so successful and so rich that. That, that you just feel like you're above everything and you're just snobby now. Like, and and when I talk to you personally, I don't feel that. I don't but think so. Either. Say that, right? Like, I'm not. Nick, but, but listen, the internet, the internet, the internet. Not, when it comes to you on a personal level with someone you care for, but that's been the overtone. And I don't know if Sneaker was getting to it. I feel like people have been saying, yo, you got the bag, right? You're at, you're at, um, kit now. And now you could, you're, you're just acting out because you know there's really no, there's really no one telling you you can't do something. No, nah. hmm. but again and again and, and again, bro. I think you guys are gonna see a Maybe. lot of change from me. Everyone is, bro. I'm, 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 I'm really on this new path. Yeah, I remember that. That's actually a good point. I, 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 I can't. Let's like appreciate some of this stuff because I feel like that's a real thing to say to like a friend. You know, like, yo, bro, I like you a lot, but maybe the way that you act with other people is like a little like an asshole. I think that's cool, bro. I think it's cool to have those types of checks and balances in there because everybody goes there. Everybody has their uh, what I affectionately call goblin mode. Um, you know, sometimes it happens. It's good to have people to rein you in, you know? Half right now. I'm telling you, I'm back on my journey. I'm getting back to the shit. And I'm touching with reality again. My bad, I just saw. Is that your girl? Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't you watch, man. Um, Chill, bro. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Sneaker, you're used to watching. I'm kidding, Sneaker. I'm kidding. <laughs> Listen. Oh, uh, uh, what a fucking legend. Speech, oh, except when it comes to Sneaker. Oh, love speech, right? Oh, joke, I'm man. all about love, bro. Let me go punch God. dildos and shit. <laughs> Listen, okay, yeah, just love listen. punching dildos and acting retarded. Oh my god, and just listen, listen, hold yeah, on, let me finish. You think, you think Andy was actually addicted to lean? Yeah, bro, I was going through a pint a day with my boys, literally. A pint a day with my boys. Are you still streaming? Yes, I was sipping on stream, yes. Wow. You were sipping on stream? Yes. Wow. No, no, I believe him, but that's what, that's why I would- Isn't lean like cough syrup and like Sprite? Like, there's alcohol in there, no? So, yeah, of course it could be addictive. <laughs> what the fuck? What the question is that? I <laughs> have this conversation with him about- but me, we're but let me go back to what you were saying, bro. Let me prove to people. Actually, speak louder than words. We all can agree on that. Let me prove to people that I'm about to be on this new path, this new journey, picking up where I left up on, and spreading love and not hate. And because I'm gonna tell you right now, that's what Kick needs right now. They they need they, they need one of their faces for Kick to lead by example and do great and big things and bless people and fucking spread love. Because bro, I'm telling you, that's what it's all about in this world, bro. They energy give out with receipt. I was giving out negative energy this past month. I'm sick of this shit. I don't want that shit. It was creeping up on me. There'd be days where I didn't want to get up a fucking bed. I'd be fucking depressed as fuck, feel low as fuck, and I would just sip a cup all day and, and feel the fucking, Damn. hold on, hold, hold on, bro. So I understand, I understand my persona on the internet right now is snobby, I get it. A snobby fucking kid who's successful and rich and doesn't give a fuck about anyone else, I get it. I get it, but that's not who I am personally. And if you know me on a personal level, you know that's not who I am. I love everyone, I care about everyone around. That's right. No, the dirty sprite, no alcohol. What the fuck is dirty sprite? What the fuck does that even mean, bro? I thought it was fucking cough syrup, dude. It's an opioid? Oh, it's codeine? Damn, I don't even know what the fuck's going on. This shit's wild. I have to look into like what is lean now just for a fucking two seconds. What the fuck is lean? Let's let's look it up. Around me, and I care about people who fuck with me. I really do. Now, it all started with insecurity and ego. Why I even started on this path. Ah, and it's you got that perp. That purple drink. Codeine. Uh, it's purple drink, scissor up, purple lean, dirty sprite, lean drink is made a combination of prescription strength, coughs medicine, soft drinks, and hard fruit flavor. Oh, I was right. So, guy, what the fuck? Okay, I don't know what codeine is, but okay, whatever. 
Fuck I was that. I was Avoid right. I was literally right. I guess codeine is the medication inside of the fucking cough syrup or something. I don't know. You guys are shut up. You guys are the wrong ones. I'm right. You stink. And I fill that shit with a cup. And that's why I'm letting everyone know it's, 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 it's deeper than it sounds, bro. It is. This shit is no fucking joke. It really makes you a different person. And it puts you at a really low level. And people can tell that wasn't me. I had DJ Scheme, a close friend, uh, you know, to me, literally told me, he's like, yo, bro, I'm not gonna lie, this is not you, bro. Whatever happened to fucking Damn. work on yourself. Bro, Snickle, I get it, bro. I get where you're coming from with, with, with shit you say. Act you too, I get it, I get it. But all I'm saying is, let Act speak out of the words. Watch what I'm about to do this month, and, and that's all I gotta say. I don't wanna speak much more on it. I don't. I do wanna ask you this question, right? Okay. And I, I might be off base, but I wanna ask you this question because I do think a lot of people are probably thinking about this. Again, you are the most successful streamer ever, okay? That's just the fact of the matter. Do you Facts. think there's a side effect? of having more money than you could ever spend in a lifetime and maybe the side effects to possibly not having any restrictions that may lead you to do things, say things, or anything else that might not be... I'm gonna I'm 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 button real quick. The most successful streamer of all time, in my, in my opinion. How are you saying that? All of money? How are you saying that? I'm talking about monetarily. You no, he's making a great point. What academics is saying here is like, hey, you're incredibly successful. There's no downfall to you, right? Even if you got banned, uh, you still have all this money. So that doesn't matter. But then on top of that, you're on a platform that doesn't give you any like real regulations. So like, are you worried that you're going to go down like a bad path? And it's a good point. Um, like without having any real restrictions because kick for the most part seems to kind of just let him do whatever the fuck he wants and i think that's the point that he's getting at and that's a really good reason why men should get married bro because listen i'm just maybe this is my experience men are fucking dogs okay and i think that sometimes you know dogs are are the best animal in the entire world they're better than cats they're better than zebras okay they're better than any bird that exists they're cool as fuck all right. And a good dog, a loyal dog is a very good dog. OK, like a wolf. I don't know what I'm saying. My point is, is that I think sometimes people with that aren't regulated, they don't have some boundaries in place, will end up doing bad things. But having some guidance and rules can be guidance for me, like having like a relationship, get a little bit of guidance, a little bit of a different perspective, a little bit like more like, you know, get my shit together because I'm a dog. And if I wasn't married, I'd be fucking dogs. I've, you know, <laughs> Without that guidance, I'd be less successful. And that's the only point that I'm trying to make here. And sometimes it's good to have a little bit of regulation. It's not a bad thing to be a little bit restricted um, as long, you know, but the restriction can be a positive thing for you. The only point that I'm well, saying. That's, that's, that's train. Well, yes, yeah. train, train racks has more money than me, yes. Okay, but to be, I get what you're saying, though. Back, of course, bro, when I was fucking 19, I made my first million dollars. I don't know what the fuck I was doing with my money. I bought a fucking Lambo. I bought dumb shit, you know, and I was just being stupid as fuck. And I'm just, a, I was, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. You know what I'm saying, bro? People people think I come from money and shit. Bro, listen, bro. I do. I don't come from fucking money, bro. He probably does come from money. He probably came from not like a lot of money, but like came from money. Like enough money to be able to have like a decent upbringing. But okay. There's a point in my life where my family went broke. People don't understand that. People are like, oh no, bro. You were bringing some money. Like I was middle class and then I became poor. And, you know, and, I, and, I had to, and I had to put you aside. I tell a story. My dad lost his job and he had three credit cards. And yeah. he had to get my, my upgrade my internet speed. And I worked to get my first streaming PC and equipment. And I did. You know, and, and what I'm trying to say is I came I, I came from that. I got my M. Yeah, that's rough, man. Losing your job. That doesn't necessarily mean that you're not middle class. I, I'm OK. I, I uh, that's bad. That sucks. I'm sure that they didn't like. OK, let me just move on. And my first M, I blew it on a fucking Lamborghini. I'm just saying I don't think that he went through like a poverty struggle. I didn't either. Um, I'm just saying. But and then I bought on dumb shit on, and, and, and I spent and I gambled and all these things. And then after that, that was like, all right, I got to hold the fuck out a little bit. And then I, and then I bought my parents to their first crib. You know what I mean? And then, I, and then, and then, and then I progressively got richer, more successful, took care of this person, that person, this person, that person, this person, that person. Because at the end of the day, bro, God, it's all about becoming a better person and realizing fuck ups. For example, I will never, ever, 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 ever buy my friend's jewelry ever again. I out shit. It's stupid. I'll buy them plain shit. I'll, 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 yes. I'll give them cash. I'll buy them cars. I'll buy them things that retain value and, 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 get, and get them somewhere. If I buy my friend an ice out fucking watch. If I buy my friend an ice out fucking watch, it's, I'm, a, I'm a moron. I'm a schmuck because Why? it's a bad mindset. These rappers, I get it, bro. Oh, yeah. It's a bad, it, like, well, cars are a bad mindset, too, depending on the car. Like, anything that's, like, a, a first show it can be a very bad mindset and leads to, like, a very bad thing. Like, when you just, like, oh, I got this. It's a, a status symbols. Um, it's a, a chasing status symbols. Fundamentally, it's not a good idea. I want to be with, with the diamonds. I get it. Cool. It looks, it looks great. It looks a pretty in the eye. But Papa, when is feeling for politics? I'm 16 and already invested in politics. And it's annoying because I see that. <sighs> As many global and ignorant child is 16 for too young for politics. Yeah, no, it's not too young. Do your thing, man.
engage, but just realize that you're going to make a lot of mistakes. But that's about you know, that's what being a kid is about, and that's a good time to make mistakes is as a kid. So like engage in it and be as intelligent as you can, make mistakes, and you know listen to criticism. Just you know that's it's not too young to get into it. Um, just try not to be toxic about it. But a plain fucking watch app, even you know that, Sneaker, you know that, is more valuable than a fucking iced out fucking Rolly and an AP. It is. It is. And they go up in value and, and you know, I want to start doing things like that and setting and setting setting shit like that. That's cool. Buying a plain Jane fucking, you know what I'm saying? That's cool. You know what I'm saying? And, and yeah, I'm learning, bro. And, I, and, I, and I'm learning and I really am trying to stay on this path that I'm currently on right now. My mindset is clear as hell. And I'm more motivated than I've ever been because I'm getting rid of that, that lean shit. And, I, and I'm really just trying to be the best version of myself, bro. And, I, and I'm, and I'm going to go back to that journey. That's cool. And again, to answer your question, oh, getting mean. millions and millions and millions of dollars, it's overwhelming. It is, bro. People don't understand. Like, especially when you don't know how to fucking manage your money and you don't know what the fuck you're doing. It is at first. It is. And it creates more problems. Act, you know that. You even said that to me. More money, more problems. You said that to me, bro. You did. And sure. people look up to you. They look at you as a fuck. I think I'd rather uh, be under that level of oppression of uh, not of having uh, all, so, too much money to manage. Oh, God. Bro, I really want to make a, you know, I really would like to, I, I hope by the end of this year, I'm able to get back to where I was um, before I restarted this platform. That'd be cool. Get back to that six figure uh, salary, you know? That'd be pretty dope. Fuck ATM. The world, the world becomes the world. The world becomes a little more sour. All right. That's why a lot of old rich motherfuckers are all fucking miserable because they they they, they perceive the world as sour. Okay. And and again, bro, money's making you happy but to an extent. To an extent. But I think money, 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 money develops freedom, and it, and it you know it helps it helps create opportunity, and it, it can definitely save lives and, and all these things. But it can't buy. It can't literally buy fucking happiness. Like to an extent. And what I meant by that is like I can't go buy a Lamborghini and be happy. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. The problem is, is that like there is a diminishing return on money, obviously. But like, give a person, like a normal person, a million dollars right now, and all of their problems will be solved. Um, Aiden's problems of having money come from the way he makes it. A lot of the times, is like it would being kind of a provocateur in some cases. So, like, you know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't, you know. Hey, when I see it, when it comes to the self, I got one more question, and I know Stingo got a whole bunch for you. Aiden, you, you know I love you. Like, you know, we, we talk so much. We, we've been in so many private situations. Obviously, we're, we're talking publicly here. But I do want to ask you, who could check you? Who could check you in a sense of saying, you're fucking up? You're going wrong? You're going down the wrong path? Yo, how you handle that situation is fucked up? Who that's a that? really good question. He's gonna. He's probably just going to say, like, um, Andrew Tate. And that's just not a good check for anybody. Like, it's just an abnormal oh. fucking weirdo that's, like, literally... Uh, getting charged with sex trafficking like he's not a good person uh, he's literally admitted that he did it I, we're at that point he doesn't have a good check that person you tell me i got i got one person in my life right now that'll call me on my bullshit no matter what and that's my, my security guard aunt, who's not even my security anymore okay aunt. cool i was gonna call fucking andrew tate Let's be honest. you guess i'm wrong that's one person who literally called me on my bullshit bro literally but this is like really excellent advice everybody needs this you like this needs to this is a real thing that people need to have uh, that's my wife for me <laughs> cringe no but if you don't have i i call it grounding i say like you need somebody that can ground you but this is the same thing if you don't have somebody that can do that you're gonna fail as a person especially online i think but in general in life but like online bro like it's so easy to become fucking terminal it's wild it's wild like the shit that you think is fucking important is so unimportant. And I say it more and more in my videos because I realize I'm like, wow, what the fuck are we doing? And we're having fun. But even this, this whole conversation, this isn't important. This whole thing is fucking stupid. We're just having fun. I'm playing World of Warcraft and talking to you guys. We're having fun. We're just listening to shit. And there's nothing wrong with engaging with shit that doesn't matter. Just make sure you know it doesn't matter. Like, this doesn't matter. You know what I mean? But just make sure you know that. Hey, make sure we understand that. This way we don't go fucking, we don't go crazy and go like, oh my God. Did you see what happened? Blah, 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 and start shitting and farting yourself, you know? Um, I, got, I, I have a manager now who I'm very close with. His name is David. Very Whoa. called him my bullshit. Uh, I have two close friends to me uh, that are my high school boys. Um, the Tates, honestly, bro. The Tates. They're there for me. I texted them about my lean addiction. They fucking Whoa. instantly, instantly hit my phone. Instantly talking about it. Explaining that, you know. You got to stand up straight, brother. If you got a lean addiction, just move, stand up straight. Oh, about life and help me feel better. You know, there's people around me, bro. There's good people. There's genuine people who genuinely care and love me. I know there is. And I can tell between the fake and, 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 and not fake love. But at the end of the day, bro, it's it's, um, it's all love, man. Every, every, everything is all love. Cool. Okay. That kind of sounded like therapy-ish. So I'm wondering, like, how much does... No, no, no. no it doesn't have to be a bad thing. But genuine it's question. I, I, and it's like, uh, they said I'm, I'm arguing. I'm not. How much does do you actually need to invest into talking about self-improvement and talking about being better and the gym and stuff like that. Like that stuff that 
that's that should be routine at this point when it comes to, to being a man that's not that's like isn't that your entire thing though no, don't you have a whole course for that sneako doesn't have his, um, his own hustlers university what i mean you should what that should just be routine <laughs> The way I see it, I want to know what you guys think. What it comes You're a child. Like, both of them are children. The only difference between Aiden and Sneeko is that Aiden realizes he still has growth to make, where Sneeko thinks he's completed his growth. And that's why Aiden is going to somehow be more mature than Sneeko in the not-so-distant future. Because that's a fact. Sneeko's not very self-aware. I'm so, like, having an influence and having an audience, we, we're kind of seeing Western civilization collapse in real time. We're not seeing that at all, but okay. We're seeing people completely confused. The culture war is getting worse than it's ever become. It's not, actually. Um, the, you want to know, like, the reality is is that conservatives are losing this culture war that you're talking about. <laughs> like, this is just what's happening. Conservatives are losing... Um, Conservatives are losing this culture war that's going on. People are realizing that all they keep talking about are obsessing about LGBTQ people. There's still questions and conversations to have. You know what I mean? Like some of the shit can get a little crazy. I'm very hesitant about kids transitioning, but that's the whole culture war. Is that's it? There, there nobody's. There's. It's nothing's breaking down in real time. We just have such a process, like fast amount of information being beamed into our faces that we think that we're a fucking critical mess. But if you just go outside and you take a deep breath, it's nothing is going fucking. We're fine. <clears throat> it's okay. The issue is people that can't talk about, they talk to each other in a mature capacity about different problems. And Sneeko's one of those people. You go, somebody had a conversation with him. He just goes, Ugh. so it's pretty much it, man. People are going fucking crazy. It's the gender. It's the gender apocalypse. Hey guys, come buy my far right wing beer. It's triple the price of any other fucking beer. If you pay for that, you're an idiot. You're just going to be poor, so you probably are poor, making bad decisions. Like the, the like in get vesting in crypto scams or hustlers university. <laughs> the amount of infighting to where kids are extremely confused, the gender stuff that's going on. I see it as Western civilization collapsing in real time. Yeah. I think that the most valuable. You hope that's what it is, but Western civilization is what made you able to succeed as a person. Um, let's be real; like Western values and whatnot have created the internet. And the ability to have free speech online. If you think that your your speech that you feel is regulated is bad now, imagine it wasn't in a free country or with Western ideology. Because everybody else, they're not big into free speech. Just so you know, China is fucking terrible with how like overregulated they are. Same thing with Russia. Like you, it's so funny that they cry about free speech and then and then the same fucking tone go like Western people are bad. Ah, oh, free speech is dead. But then you're like advocating. To be like these other countries that want that actually don't have free speech. Um. So you're you're being a little bit of a goose, a little bit of a silly Billy. You're being silly. You know what I mean. The thing that you could do with an influence and a voice is to is to call out the clear problem that we yeah. all see when it comes to wokeism. I know activism completely wokeism, bro. Oh, this is embarrassing. Wokeism. We're making a fucking. It's a whole. We're making it a thing now. Wokeism is ruining the fucking world. Weakness is ruining the world. And I'll tell you, it's weak to be crying about woke shit. Like, and using the word woke unironically is pathetic. I don't know what to tell you. Um, it's a funny word. Like, there's shit that gets weird, but you can have conversations without fucking, like, being so fucking obnoxious about it. Really oh invest goodness. into that because you don't like to all the way go into the manosphere. Uh, oh, Aiden, yeah, you yeah. went in and now you're, you're trying to go out. But wokeism. Well, is I'm destroying the West from the real time. I'm not trying to go by the way, uh, Sneeko. I think honestly, bro, what you're doing in your in your in your own way, I, you know, I, you know, we've had talked. I agree with a lot of what you say. I do. You know, I, I really do. We have the same beliefs on a lot of stuff. There's some stuff we disagree on. You know, I don't. I don't 100 agree with all the things you do. I don't 100 agree with all the things I do. But that's just coming together in perspectives and, wow. and and really coming together and and really understanding. But look, to answer your question, yeah, man, I think the world got so political. And at first, you know what's funny? I remember teachers couldn't even talk about who they voted for. But I'll tell you where it got so political. Schools, uh -huh. social media, such as Twitter, and, and Twitch even, uh -huh. they're the ones that like are preaching, don't bring about politics. But these are the motherfuckers telling you not to vote for Trump. And it's just funny to me that, yes. you know, that side of the full far left, you know, they're the ones that are kind of like hypocritical. I mean, everyone is hypocritical, but you go to- Does Twitch say don't vote for Trump? Or are we talking about the people on it? Okay. I was trying to say, it just didn't really make sense that you weren't allowed to talk about politics and shit. You just never were. But then it took, you know, the far left is one who brought politics to school, brought politics to social media, all these.
Uh, maybe. I mean, the idea that like back in the day, politics used to be something that was like taboo to really talk about in front of people. That's part. Sure. I can agree with that. Um, <clears throat> and now it's like if you don't have an opinion, you're an asshole like that, which is I think is silly. You should be able to like if you don't want to politically engage, there's nothing wrong with that. That's how we get like fucking fence sitters because they can't just say I don't really care. Uh, or I don't really have an opinion. Now you have to. Now you have to have an opinion. So now people are just like, uh, well, uh, you know, I think that there's good points on both sides. You know, that's where we get cowards like that. Um, <laughs> um, there's nothing wrong being a centrist. I'm just saying that like there are some clear things where like you can't just say they're like, what do you, hey, what do you think about trans people? Well, uh, you know, I do think they should have rights, but then at the same time, I don't think that uh, they're people. It's like you really can't make a midline. You have to kind of take a pretty firm stance in some best. You get my point. Anyway, um, I get that. I don't know. Donald Trump definitely brought that to the arena because he's a very polarizing figure. I'll tell you that he's something else. He's quite. He's a. He's a. He's definitely a New Yorker. Is all I'm gonna say. He's crazy. States. They're, they're they're forcing it upon schools right now that they remove the church. That they move the cross and they replace it with the gay pride flag in the West. Well, can I just um, can I say one I'm thing? Sorry, can I say okay. one thing? Um, I, listen, I don't know how you feel about trans. I respect and I love and I love everyone and I have no problem with trans people. But one thing I will say. You, you definitely fucked up. I, I seen a clip. I know you talked about where I said kill them, and again, that's taken out of context. The way you said it was severely fucked up, and I and I apologize for full accountability. That was. We said kill trans people. <laughs> How is that out of context? I don't understand. <laughs> what a, what is, bro? Aiden is a fucking. He's a fucking wildebeest, dude. What's happening here? Stupid as fuck. <laughs> yeah, because because I did say that incorrectly. I didn't mean it like that. What does he mean? mean? Like I don't um, understand. But what I will say is this, bro. Uh, Sneeko, the youth. I feel like I feel like they feel like um we. People shouldn't be, if you're a kid, man, you know what I'm saying? You're a kid. Let the kid be a kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, sure. let the kid be a kid. Straight up, bro. Okay. Like, well, that's I, that's I, exactly I, what they're not doing. I, I didn't fuck with, I uh, with you know, I just didn't fuck with certain things, like how in elementary school, like certain <clears throat> kids are being taught certain things and the teachers are teaching. I, like there's what? Certain, there's stuff I don't like and I don't touch base on. Because like there's some things that kids shouldn't be learning. But like I, I there a lot, when I look into a lot of this stuff, it seems like really overhyped. Like what we people think we're teaching kids, like elementary school kids are just being taught like, oh, hey, my your teacher's gay. And it's like, don't tell them, don't tell them that. They're going to turn gay. But okay, I fundamentally agree. I just don't know if the problem is as real or as, as extreme as we think it is. So. No, and, and I'm really trying to get away from this shit. Oh, the he said his pronouns were kill them. Yeah, that's probably not the... Uh... Okay, Jesus. This, uh... Young man, what are you doing, young man? What are you doing, you know? <laughs> but I get oh, wait, wait, wait. I do gotta ask because because again, you know, and I feel like I'm regurgitating talking points. About it, you could definitely tell me I'm full of shit because you know, you know, I know your heart and I know your your persona, but also like because we're on here, like I'm just naturally in in the sense of giving pushback and shit. Um, it, like, do you be, like it, there was a point that you weren't talking about how many genders? That's more like Sneeko's alley type shit. You know what I mean? And, and these nah, days, like I said that I said that because from that point on is when I got into the zone where I was mad at people on Twitter for trying to cancel me. Okay. So I was trying to cancel cancel culture. That was my perspective mm. on that. Okay. And I don't know if that really makes sense, but no, but okay. Yeah, that's I, where I was at. Well, with. maybe it makes a little bit of sense. I've been there like where people are calling you out. So you get a little hateful. All right. If I'm going to give him the uh, benefit of the doubt there, I think it's a, that's, I guess, I suppose that's what he's referring to. So, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. <clears throat> yeah. And, and, and that's, that's why I thought about it. I was like, yo, um, I think you, you have a lot of influence in, and, I think kind of like marrying your cause and like your movement around that particular point for a second, I thought I was like, is he trying to do or be taped? Because, no. you know, I was trying to, I was trying to say something that I know what, that I knew would hurt a lot of people that, oh, um, that's it. I didn't do it. So the intent I was trying to do academics is was, I was trying to come at people who were trying to cancel me and bring me down on Twitter. People don't know this. Cause again, you don't, you're not seeing my perspective on things. It's, you know, in this world, it's all about perspective. You got people go through so many different obstacles, so many different things, so many different trauma, so much different experiences. So you're never going to really understand. That's why I'm so open to hearing people's perspectives on things. For example, I'm going to just say this right now. This is not right in any way. But when Kanye said he hated Jews because all Jews fucked him over, um, his managers, contracts, all that stuff. I see what he was saying. I don't agree with him at all, by the way. But I could see why he's saying that, even though he's 100% wrong. 
Does that make sense? He is, he yes, that's not a hot take, though. That's like the entire Lex Friedman perspective when Lex talked to the Kanye. He's like, I understand what you're saying. That's like some of the people who screwed you over happen to be Jewish and maybe even disproportionately so. But that doesn't mean that it's all Jewish people and it's wrong. Uh, there was that like, like, it's not I'm just like, I, I yeah, I understand. I can respect that take. Um, <clears throat> but I just want to be clear, like, that's yeah, that's pretty. It's a pretty consistent take from a lot of people. I think John Stewart had a similar take to that. Um, yeah, you know. So okay. he has perspective. He's not right at all. He's not because not all Jews are bad people. Not all black people are bad people. Not all white people are black people. Are bad and you're people. understanding, and you're you're kind of seeing sure. where his not understanding, was. but I'm seeing I'm seeing the angle he's trying to set. You get what I'm saying? I am. Well, no, that that manifests into just anger, right? You know what I mean? Like for example, like you know, in, in the hip hop world, like for example, I was gonna have this guy on a comedy show. His name Charles the White. He was mad at this one guy who's who's Asian, and instead of just saying "fuck that guy," it, he felt it was more just natural to say, "man, fuck all of the people who look like that guy yeah. or who, wherever he came from." And I mean, with Kanye, I still feel the same. I'm like, "Yo, Kanye, you're mad at like four people. Like you're not <laughs> saying you're not mad at yeah, Jews. Right. You're mad at four you're people. With these people, but I, I see his angle. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't fuck with it. But I see his angle. You can't say I hate all Jews because four Jews in your life fucked you over. You understand?" How does it how does it work though with uh because Sneeko doesn't like Jewish people? We're at that point where he is like legitimately anti Semitic and, and co signs all the dumb fucking conspiracy theories that um what's his face? Uh, what's that guy? Oh, Nick Fuentes uh, you know, operates with. So like we're at a point now with that. So like how does how do you feel with Sneeko? He I he co signs that shit all the time. Dan, Who's Kanye? Uh, I, I had don't know. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's that's not what he was saying. That's what not was he, what was he saying then? Exactly. He was, he was saying. talking about Zionism and, and uh, the agenda that see? they have in the music industry and the way they. Yep. See, there you go. Yes, Nico. That's what he was saying. He took his hate of Jewish people because some Jewish people fucked him over, turned it into the uh, a conspiracy theory about how Jews control everything, which Nico believes because Nico is like an actual dumb fucking bigot. Do business and the way that he's, feel, he's felt controlled. It's more than four people, it's, it's just it's pattern recognition. It's not like four people tried to screw him but over. But that's what me and academics are saying. There's a pattern. It's a pattern. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before, before. No, it's not a pattern. There was a, a, a small amount of Jewish people fucked him over. And so now he takes it out on all Jewish people. It's not a pattern recognition. It's like him. It's him allowing himself to become bigoted. That'd be like if I got beat up by a fucking black guy or three black guys. And I was like, see, all black people beat everybody up all the time. Black people are terrible. Like that's would be compare a comparable experience. So it's not this like magical like fucking thing that he's claiming. Like he downplays the fuck out of it. You're, he's anti-Semitic. Like, Sneeko's that's what the problem is. Sneeko's a fucking he's a fucking goober. He's a fuck. He's just he's brainwashed. Um, that's what it comes down to. He's brainwashed into becoming bigoted. That's really where we're at here. Sneeko starts to extrapolate this. Let's be clear who he's talking about. He's talking about a few Nike executives. No, right. not Nike. Adidas Adidas. Executives. Yeah. He's also talking about the guys who wouldn't let him buy back his masters in the record label side. He's talking about a finite group of people, less than 10. Maybe four was exaggerated, but less than 10. He was just talking about people who he felt was controlling these avenues that he cared about. He identified them. You say pattern recognition. He lumped them up and said, again, granted, maybe they were all Jewish. I'm not saying they weren't. However, when you attack the not only the Jewish faith, but people who ident identify uh, with Judaism, like you're wrong. Again, if true, it's only true, true, true. less than 10 people, you can name those 10 people. You post a lot of your Instagram, post all their pictures. Granted, I'm not saying that's the best way to deal with problems, but he would attack an entire group of people. Like, right, like by the way, you know, and, and not to start ranting or whatever, but it, it, it's like when it came to 9-11, right? And it was, yeah, it might have been people that were, or people that identify with the Islam faith, right? Um, And they might have been Muslim, but it wasn't all Muslim. It was like literally true. 15 fuckboys who were radicals. And because of what they did, you had a lot of people extrapolating hate on all people who practice the faith. That's not cool. That's not right. And just like how we didn't agree with that, we can't just say because Ye made some great sneakers and made some great music, we're going to agree <laughs> with that. Come on, Sneaker. You, you know that to be fact. It was not about the Zionism. Like, that, that's hey, listen, a great... Listen, D, G, DJ Academics dub, bro. Got to give him the fucking... Uh, Got to give it to him on this one, you know? The way how people like <laughs> Nick Fuentes and others have acted, or not acted, but 
has changed the narrative to say, oh, what Kanye West was saying actually had sense. By the way, Kanye West is completely bipolar. At least we have Aiden who's coming in here. That's not true at all. He, he is, is bipolar. bipolar. He admits it. He is bipolar. No, no. He's 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 bipolar. Bipolar. He is bipolar, bro. He's no, no, no. Man. Uh, uh, mental health issues are conspiracy. Uh, uh, no, he's not bipolar. That's my king. If I believe he's bipolar, then I realize that I'm fucking worshiping a uh, fucking psychopath. Uh, no, no, I can't do that. That 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 just breaks my entire uh, my, my entire world perspective and view. Come on, you can't I say mean, he's not bipolar. Yeah, you, talk, you guys are talking as if it's just like four people. He talks about the doctor that hospitalized him and put him down this path of like saying that he's mentally ill. He was saying he definitely is mentally ill. I think I think that even a normal person who's never even like looked at a a, a textbook before would be like this. There's something. There's something about Kanye. You know, something about Mary. Uh, he definitely has a problem, you know, and God bless him. I really hope that he gets his shit together. Okay, but he's definitely struggling, brother. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was a Jewish definitely doctor. Sure. It doesn't matter. Doctor. Oh, no, not the Jewish doctor. Fuck. It doesn't matter. Why didn't he just get like a, a second opinion from like a Muslim doctor or something? I don't know. Or like a fucking Indian doctor. <laughs> you know, like, does, that, that, does that make sense to anybody else? Just get a second opinion. <laughs> oh. Taking his children and saying that he needs to be handled. That was a joke. And then he even brought up the picture of the red media. Everybody in the media trying to slander him and pushing this narrative okay, that he's mentally ill. It doesn't. You're, 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 it's it's, it's Nico. You're not understanding, bro. Conversation before, like you're one of the people, bro. and this is why I always get at you because How I don't think you're smarter than this, but you love to. Because he's anti-Semitic. Because Nico's an idiot. Like he's a dumb person. Like what do you mean? How does he justify this? He's an idiot. No, y'all, bro, y'all trolling about the Jewish shit. Come on, bro. West who claimed that I was being controlled by Jewish media or Jewish like operative. Like who you signed to? Huh? Who weren't you signed to? Complex. Who? All right. So who owns Complex? You tell me. I don't know. I'm asking you. So Complex is owned by Verizon or Hearst. Who is who is the Jewish person there? For Verizon. you think about it? I don't know. I'm asking you. I didn't know who you were signed to. You've been signed to a lot of different agencies. Wait, I did a deal with them for a show. They don't control my content. I just said fuck complex the other day. Then they put me on a list, and I said, okay, they're cool. They don't control my content. Well, I'm trying to say this. Hold, 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 I, 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 I'm, I'm gonna touch on Sneeko. It's still what, what he said about the pattern. You, you even said Sneeko, the, the word the patterns or whatever, bro. Like, listen, I get it. The Jewish doctor, the Jewish people trying to fuck with his kids, the Jewish, the, the Jewish Adidas. I get it, bro. But not all Jews deserve <laughs> to be on this hate, fucking anti-Semitic. Fucking campaign, bro. Like there were people. Not, there were people. Not. There were people on the 405 saying Kanye is right. Fuck the Jews. I saw it, bro. Oh, okay, all right. But th that's that's blown up by the media. It's like five but guys. Do you understand? That, that but that's what no, that the bro. He said that Hitler was a nice guy. I, we, we can't. We're we're at that point. Kanye went crazy, and you want to know what? I still I still hope the best oh. for him. And a lot of people do. They're giving Kanye a tremendous pass. A lot of people are like, I just I hope he gets his shit together. He gets better. You know. But that he's fucking wild, dude. He's crazy. I'm trying to make you understand. It's gay's fault. It is. Yeah, you know, Sneeko, let's think about it this way. Granted, like you know, obviously the majority of African Americans may not seem to be in positions of power like that. But you know, being a person of color like yourself, if anyone, I don't know, let's say, uh, oh, say Mel Gibson, we, he's been through his shit. L let's say any <laughs> white guy, right, a, a very popular white, guy, the guy who played Captain America comes out and say he got stopped a couple times by some black cops. He got like padded extra hard by like some TSA people who are black and he says yo these motherfucking niggas they're the <laughs> ones who's keeping me back would you not or, or you know obviously I don't know what you identify as I would I would be offended by, by that statement imagine if he just attacked people of color would you feel like yo bro you might have had a bad experience with a bunch of people but like you attacking an entire race or entire you know um, ethnicity or, or whatever like you know what I mean phenotype of people that's fucking oh you, you wouldn't believe that of course, I think it's wrong, but you got to look past that. It wasn't, of course, that's where the feeling started. And Aiden's right talking about the perspective, but a lot of VA24 is talking about APAC, the biggest lobby is, and you talk about the ADL, the people that control the media, the people that censor you the most. They talk about the certain things that you're not allowed to say. Like you, okay. they always bring up Hitler as the person that's the most demonized person of all time. That yeah, well, it's, not, it's a pretty good reason to do it. Hitler, hey, guys, hot take. Hitler, not a good guy. He's not a good guy. He's not a good guy. And he didn't have bipolar, so we can't excuse it. Um, maybe he did. Hitler, not a good guy. I don't know if this is a hot take, guys. I mean, I know I'm a pretty revolutionary guy with some of my takes, but Hitler, not a great guy. Did one of the, probably one of the, like, the greatest atrocities in human history in such a short amount of time, killing 10 million people over like fucking 10 years. Um, the second number two atrocity is not giving me a fucking heel there. So. That's the most <clears throat> example, the most evil person, even though there's dictators in history that have killed way more people that have been part of bigger um, genocides. They're, they're never seen as, as like what? 
So, like, listen, I genuinely don't know. If your argument is like, hey, I think this is a very Western perspective to call out Hitler as hard as we do, but not call out other things, that's a great point. Doesn't mean Hitler did a good thing. You know, if he did a really, really fucking horrible thing. If your argument is that he did it to white people, so we care too much and we don't care enough about black people. Oh, maybe. I don't know, dude. Use this time to say, yeah, Hitler's pretty bad. But you know what else, dude? This guy killed like 17 million black people and nobody gives a fuck. Oh, shit. That's a good point. Bring that up. But instead, it's not about that. You have to understand. It's not about it's not about him advocating. It's not about him helping. It's not about him like, you know, trying to educate people to be less, uh, you know, Western uh, pers- you know, with less of a Western perspective. It's about shitting on sh- things and like justifying anti-Semitism. Right. Like he doesn't take the, the real fights. Right. He's fucking sitting here crying about fucking Western shit. Like talk about real shit. I feel like I probably talk more about like anti-Western shit with my fucking Dalai Lama take than this guy ever has in any like real way where everybody's like, oh, my God, you got people going, oh, the Dalai Lama's a fucking child predator because he kissed a kid on the lips which is apparently customary over there and because he made a joke about sucking on his tongue and every single person the only videos you could see about that are highly edited all right in the video that i had i was finally able to find one like a short it wasn't even a video it's youtube short that was oh, wasn't edited i was like oh it's not that bad it's inappropriate but assigning predatory intentionality is fucking wild and that's a very that is a western issue in that context you know we don't have to think that everything is appropriate but we can understand intentionality when you're sitting here calling a dialogue a fucking child predator over the one clip like you you look like an idiot like that's your very close mind and terminally online shit i don't know what to tell you but that's just the reality we're sitting here and you, you're not using your your platform to actually talk about specific aspects you're just like no hitler actually was kind of a good fucking guy dude he was crazy right it's a downplay of hitler instead of an up play of other potential strategies that we don't know about that's the point that i'm making demonize people celebrate people like like Mao is celebrated in china and people wear these shirts of, of dictators who have killed far more people but hitler's always seen as the most evil person and why it's see, because there's a specific narrative that's been trying to push for for all of history this is one of my issues what? with you because- that see that's oh it's 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 a downplay of what hitler did it's not trying to be like yo there's other worse things it's just jews didn't have it so bad it was six million fucking jews were killed in a fucking internment camps like i don't know what you want me to say it's it's not like you're you're just trying to diminish this. You don't care about other tragedies. You're using those to try to say you you're pretending to care. It's a problem. Because you are one of the people who like just to repeat talking points, but you never. And I know you are an actual thinker. Do you no. think that Hitler should be actually celebrated? Yes or no? And I'm asking yes, you. I never said he should be celebrated. But what, my point is, I'm not just repeating. Your point is he didn't. He wasn't that bad. No, I didn't say. I never said that. that. You put it into mouth. No, you did. You argued a point that worse people than him are celebrated. Let me ask you this question. Do you think he should be celebrated? What do you think? Don't tell I don't, me. I don't, I don't think he should be celebrated. I don't think. I think he actually was oh, anti-Semitic. I think him. What are you arguing? So if, if you're saying I, that you don't I, think, I, he should I, be let, you want me to tell you? tell you? I do want to. He is always seen by the left. Is always seen like literally worse than Hitler. If a leftist was ever able to get a time machine, they'd say, "I'm going to go. I'm going to go back and kill Hitler." You say not left, but you say you don't celebrate. What are we talking about? I'm saying that he is, is always seen as the, the most evil person, the most demonized person, but there's a lot of dictators and a lot of people. Stalin killed more people than Hitler, but they always picture Hitler as the worst person of all time. And why? Why is that? Why is the narrative painted towards he is the worst person of all time? It's because a certain amount of people control. I think it's because Hitler started the world war. And then uh, didn't Italy, they turned their backs on Hitler, right? Um, maybe Stalin is worse. I don't know. But you're saying that like it's you're saying that they're overhyping Hitler, who basically started world war ii um and you don't seem to care about any of these other people you're not saying we should see that these guys are just as bad as hitler they're all really bad you're saying no it's not that bad and it's all just a conspiracy to make it seem like jews are victims <laughs> like you're a fucking goblin the narrative control history your point is now becoming wow happy birthday can't okay i'm not saying that hitler isn't evil but there's more evil people okay great Congratulations. We'll give you a cookie for that. You're saying that <laughs> the guy who you're basically unwilling to defend is a piece of shit, but there's other pieces of shits. No one ever said they were pieces of shits. Yo, I'm going to be honest, bro. There's no room to ever defend Hitler, bro. Ever. Basically, ever. I'm just saying any way you say anything about wow. trying to fucking take... How did it get bad, though? Before I was like, wow, this is such a normal conversation. How did it get so bad? Bro, he killed so many innocent Jewish people, bro. Just, can we just... Hitler was bad. He was evil. Like, yo, yo, I love watching Sneeko get on these like debates. Sneeko always loses because he's such a <laughs> he's, he's a great thinker, but he no, never puts his points together in a logical form that people can't easily debunk. But just why wow, he's not a he's not a good thinker. Like you can't 
you can't if you don't put your shit together then you're not thinking like he's not a good thinker i th he's paraded as one before in his life uh, but he's not a good thinker man i don't know what they want me to tell you like the, the evidence is not clear based on this fucking he doesn't even understand what he's saying he's just saying words because he's anti-woke that's all it is everything is like no it's, it's not if it if it's a woke point he will contest it that's it it doesn't matter that's all it is it's all it comes down to that's why when you say, hey, guys, COVID's like real and we have tons of data on it, he'll say the data's wrong. It's all conspiracy. And then when somebody's like, hey, black and uh, Hispanic people are, are, are biologically inferior, he's like, oh, can you show me the data on that one, Nick Fuentes? He does. He's anti-woke. He has his brain is fucking it's literally day old cereal in the refrigerator with milk. Like, that's all it is. <laughs> No, there's, there's simple things. There's certain topics that you can't really talk yeah. about on, on platforms without getting in trouble. Oh, I remember. You're right. You're, right. you're almost. So say it. Oh, hey, oh, right. I guess you can say Everybody it. On my YouTube? Everybody on my YouTube, I'm about to cut my YouTube stream. Please don't come to run. Guys, guys, I can't, I, can't, uh, I can't say my perspective because I'm not allowed to. So this is just him trying not to, to have the conversation. They're like, you know, you can say it. Let's go. And he's like, I can't say it. I'm not allowed to. Because I'm about to get real with Sneeko. Sneeko, I'm going to take a point you oh, just shit. made. This is the retarded point you just Whoa! made. Whoa! Right? Okay. Let me show you. Hey, don't say that. This is like the equivalent, right, of me saying, yo, of course the KKK is bad, but why don't we talk about this other group that's bad? No, that's not the equivalent. The equivalent would be like, I know the KKK is bad, but I think it's all that they overhype what's going on with the KKK just to victimize black people. And the KKK, maybe they aren't that, they, maybe they aren't the worst. It's more like that. I'll have to reset like, this. True what you do. That's not a defense for the KKK, my nigga. Again, <laughs> nobody ever... My point is, why has the left pictured this one person as the worst person of all time? Why is it's that? not the left? I don't know. I, I, this is almost like it's almost insulting to it's insulting conservatives. Check us out. Conservatives think Hitler's bad. I don't know if you guys knew this, but um, conservatives also think he's bad. I don't know what to tell you. Um, you're being a goose. You're being a silly goose. Conservatives don't defend Hitler. They also think Hitler is terrible. I don't know if you knew that, but it's true. That. It's not, I'm, not trying to, I'm not trying to compare is. evil, but why is it that Hitler is seen as the most evil person of all time? Because I don't know. Maybe because it's like modern history. Um, maybe it's because he did bad things to people who were white. Um, I, I don't. You know, I don't know. Maybe it's because he's just a really bad fucking guy. Maybe it's because it only happened like a hundred years ago. It's still not even, and it's still pretty fresh in our minds. Um, maybe we want to make sure that we don't repeat like a horrible atrocity. I, I guess I can can tell you specifically, but I think at the end of the day, it's because he's a really bad fucking guy. He was a he was a, he was a little bit sussy. He was a little bit suspicious. <laughs> because he had he was a, the leading Nazi, and he fucking killed over six million fucking Jews. What did he really? It's on YouTube. What? No, no, we're on Rumble, straight Rumble right now. What's up? Okay, go ahead. It's not even justified, Sneeko. He is the most evil man of all time. He's Sneeko, Sneeko, Sneeko. This is one of those topics where I can bro. just tell you're fucking arguing to argue, bro. Yeah, you like, are. Sneeko, you, you are. You're smiling. I'm not just arguing to argue, bro. Come on. There's people like Paul Pot. There's people like No. There's people like Genghis Khan who like. There are people who who rape villages. There are people. But people, but Andrew Tate uh, says Genghis Khan's a great guy. So Andrew Tate's like, oh, go dominate like Genghis Khan. Um, maybe. And they're, all, still, like, and this they're, year. All, and they're all in a similar category. They're all in a similar category. And why why is it that people get so passionate and so adamant about Hitler, but other people, they're just like, oh, it's cool. Or they who? can be sold who to the store. Cool? Who? People, cel who? people okay. celebrate Mao. People celebrate Karl Marx. People celebrate Stalin. Um, I don't think people celebrate Stalin or Mao. Karl Marx, isn't he, isn't he just the guy that did communism? Like I don't like communism, and Karl Marx was. I, I, funny enough, Karl Marx is anti-Semitic, but he's not Hitler. Who celebrates Stalin and Mao? I, fucking idiots. Um, I'm so confused. Who? I don't know anyone that celebrates Stalin or fucking uh, no. Mao. Mao has statues all over China. Mao has golden statues everywhere. Yes, yeah, because they don't have freedom of speech, right? It's, and it's, it's funny because he will jerk off China. I'll be like, Chi wait, China's not Western. Who cares what China does? Wait, what the fuck? I don't know anyone that celebrates Stalin or fucking uh, no. Mao. Mao has statues all over China. Mao that doesn't matter whatsoever. You're complaining about Western leftism. 
Who fucking cares that you can't... Oh, oh, uh, China celebrates Mao. I don't know if that's even true. It doesn't matter. You're complaining about left people on the left in Western countries. So this isn't even a talking point that you can have. It doesn't matter. Who fucking cares? It's not in the West that your whole argument is that the Western leftists are fucking crazy. Who in the West is like unironically actually supporting Stalin and fucking Mao? This is just dumb. You're just dumb. China can't be your example. China's not a Western country. It's fucking isn't Mao probably also built them. So Mao has golden statues everywhere. And it's estimated to kill like almost. I'm not sure how many people, but millions and millions of people. Wow. You think you'd have that estimate on him if you actually cared about this atrocity? Um, so <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's see. The, the estimates range for 40 to 80 million victims through starvation, persecution, and prison labor. That's horrible. Yeah, Mao's a really bad guy. Mao's ba Mao bad. But this isn't a Western country, so it doesn't matter. You're not arguing these points in China. You're arguing these points in the West. The True base. Thank you. Who the fuck is actually championing these guys you're talking about? In the West? You're yeah, too smart. West. Too, you're too he's smart. not smart. That's how he came up with this dumb fucking argument. It's not about championing. It's about demonizing. Why is this the most demonized person? Oh, I'm, not, I'm not celebrating Hitler. I'm trying to point out, like, why is this the most demonized person? You literally said that he wasn't as bad as we say. I don't know. It might. It honestly might be because he's fucking white. I don't really know why. You know, probably because you've led World War fucking two. He's still horrible. So Dingo, the, the narrative about any world leader, right, is different depends on where you're at, because because number one, media, news and everything else differs where you're at. You know, what I mean, obviously, when you think about, like, for example, I'm from the Caribbean or, you know, indoctrination and also teaching about what the um, uh, um, slavery was. We're, we're not that fond of even the British, but the British, th if you if you live in the UK, they're going to say we help Jamaica and we help these Caribbean makes countries sense. Sure. actually get more modernized. So it always differs. I'm only talking to you about the West. You're talking about what people talk about. View these guys in China. Who's praising them in the United States of America? We're here. I know you. Well, I, I'm, not, I'm not talking about praising. I'm not talking about praising. But we well, you were, but you got dunked. So now you're shifting the goalpost. You literally said they praise them in China. And then when you're like, well, that's not the West. You're like, well, uh, it's not about who's praising them. That's a good answer. It's more personal to us. That's probably really what the answer boils down to. It's just more personal to us. If you want to make a claim about how, like, hey, I think that's too much of like a white centric or Western centric perspective, and Western people should care more about atrocities of other countries, that's a great perspective. But you're trying to tie this into like there's an there, there's a conspiracy theory, um, like where we only care about it because there's this fucking historical narrative to just make Jews seem like victims when they kind of have always been like slaves and fucked up constantly. Like they, there's like no moment in history where Jews don't get the shit end of the stick. So it kind of is true. They get constantly fucked, but that's what the problem is. <clears throat> historical figures. We look at the founding fathers, for example, all these people own slaves, but you can look past that and you can look at the good that they have done and you can look at how they push for freedoms. What? You're moving, you know, you're right, but you're moving that and you can Praising, but we look at historical figures. We look at the founding fathers, for example. All these people own slaves, but you can look sure. past that and you can look at the good that they have done, and you can look at how they push for freedoms. Is he trying to say that we should look at Hitler for the good that he's done? I'm a little confused. Okay, sure, but like, there's okay. What you're moving? You know, you're right. But you're moving the goalposts. If you admit you're moving the goalposts, we could have, obviously have this in debate. I, how am I moving the goalposts? Because you started talking about Hitler. Hitler isn't the goddamn founding fathers. Hitler. Is <laughs> that's my point. My original point is that he is the most demonized person, and you can only call him a bad person. You, you have to call him horrible because he is. of the Holocaust. But you can't look at how he he brought Germany back together. You can't tell bro, him how. What are you talking about, bro? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He brought Germany back together. That's, that's, Why does that matter? That's the problem. That's the problem. Just... It's not a problem. So if you want to look at this intelligently, though, you could blame Hitler on like the United States. They were very. They they. Well, maybe not the United States, but the Allies in World War One. Maybe they like decimated Germany to the point where like they were so impoverished and poor that they were like desperate to, for, to blame anybody. And Hitler was able to take advantage of those people and say the Jews did it and galvanize and bring people back together. That's not something to be praised. That's a mistake of like the Allies not allowing them to be able to be a functioning country afterwards and it turning into like a really bad scenario. Hitler brought people together. That's a stupid thing to say. He killed tons of people. You're saying like now we're at another argument. Now he's like, I almost said Kanye. Sneeko's argument is Hitler wasn't that bad. That's his whole argument. Holy fuck. That's nuts. <clears throat> That's nuts. Define Hitler. You can't. Yo, 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 Sneeko. Bro, what is, come on, bro. bro.
someone who's like you're coming across like someone who loves to debate for the for the purpose of debating. Except- I, I think that that's a, like a glorious downplay. I think Snigel actually believes this. Like I like to when people are like, "Well, you're smarter than this." I don't think that he is. I understand that he used to make better content and all that, but I also think that back in the day, he used to just like I say this. I think he always just like imitated somebody else that was intelligent. Uh, that's really what it boils down to. This, there's no way you could have this perspective. This is fucking insane. I don't think he's just debate broing. I think he actually believes this. This is wild. This is wild. This guy's fucking unhinged. You don't have your facts. Sneeko, you Sneeko, your- Sneeko, talk about perspectives. Brother, listen, you, you gotta understand. You probably have people that watch you that are Jewish, bro. I'm Jewish myself. That's hurtful to say that. I'm just letting you know. You're, ju- her, her, you're, you're, justifying, say exactly that you're justifying Hitler. You're saying, oh, but nobody talks about Hitler brought Germany back together. It doesn't matter, bro. He- Sneeko, what you're trying to say is that Hitler wasn't that bad because other people were worse. You're based that's not on what I'm saying either. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying. Yes, you are. You just said that he did good things. You're you're championing Hitler, you fucking nut. The whole point is that you have to call Hitler an evil person. He is. The worst he is. person of all time. Y'all are trolling. Well, He's pretty bad. I've done terrible things, but you can so still look at some shit. of the good they have done. You can look past that. No. You can't do that Probably for him. He's the one person. He's the most evil person of all time. That's why everybody says that. It's pretty bad. And my point is, your point is, is you want people to be able to say Hitler is kind of a base. It's kind of base. That's what your point is here. Who painted that narrative act? Who is the one who wrote history? Everyone, the, everyone has done good in their life, Sneeko. Everyone. Who wrote history, guys? The fucking Jews. That's what it comes down to. The Jews just manipulated us. We're such silly gooses. We're so, so dumb and fucking gullible, guys. I can't believe we let the Jews write everything for us. Things. Holy fuck. I'm saying the same thing to you in multiple different ways. Yes, you're right. What you're trying to allude to, in a sense, is that life is about perspective. In some parts of the world, nah, bro, try y'all Barack Obama and Donald Trump and Biden are terrorists. What, what, what if just I, like when we're Mike, in the West, Chow, what if I say some shit about, about Jews? Like when we go to war, blacks, you think everything's just fine. I'm not saying that's or, not true. Or, or, or Asian, However, Asian community. you're trying to you know align. This take is like literally the same as Matt Walsh's take. Like honestly, it's like the same. It's like, uh, I know slavery was bad, but you're kind of lucky you were slaves because now you're here. So really, blah, blah, blah. It's like the same fucking take. It's like downplaying a, like a, tra- a fucking tragic historical event. That's all it really comes down to. And, and like about to justify justifying what the KKK, KKK the creator. I'm not trying to just, that's, that's, that, that's you, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not Put trying to justify that whatsoever. Bro. I'm not trying to justify the Holocaust. You can't justify any of these people. Because you're saying that he wasn't as bad as other people. Put Germany together. That's trying to humanize. I didn't, I didn't say that either. But, but I think it's, it's okay to humanize people. I think that I think uh, Aiden's talking to his chat and he's muted to them so it's like all it's like a lot of information people I think it's okay it's, not, it's I think it's bad to see people as, as only evil no that's okay to see some people as only evil when they do horrible things like kill a bunch of people in a genocide so are you going to talk about how uh, Mao and fucking Stalin also have good things about them too I'm not like what are you talking about was Hitler <coughs> a horrible person yes. based on what you know about him? And he's a bad so painter. a net sum, is it positive as in, oh no, he did good? Or, wow, he did a lot of fucked up shit. I say he did a lot of fucked up shit. What, what do you say? Of course, I think he did a lot of fucked up shit, but you got to look at who is telling us these stories and who is telling us what went on. Like- um, Everybody that we just kind of remember. It was not that long ago that we genocided the fuck out of a bunch of Jewish people. Uh, that's, it, it's horrible. It's uh, it's ev- We're all saying it. Where it's all, it's a pretty, it's pretty, we're pretty unified. It's a pretty unified front here for calling out these pretty uh, terrible atrocities that happened. Uh, hot take. Like in the West, Obama is seen as a really good person, but in Libya, they think that he brought slavery back. They see it. Sure. I think Obama and Hitler are a slightly different, a little bit different. There are definitely things to call out Obama for, um, but I don't think that it's the same as fucking Hitler. As a, as a war criminal, Chat, a lot of people this. aren't even aware about that because of who's pushing the narrative. Sneagle, Sneagle, Sneagle. What if it You're was flip chat? I see the background. What if it was flip chat? Just say a lot. What if it was flip chat? What are you talking about, Libya, my nigga? What if, what if I said Miami. the KKK? You know what I'm saying? Chat, what if I said the KKK creator? Perspectives. You're Chat. right. Real quick. Obviously. What if I said the KKK creator? Fucking, he did all that shit, but nobody talked about the KKK creator created fucking sandwiches <laughs> or some shit. Like, like <laughs> it's justified, bro. It's wrong. He's not right. All right. Except you're trying to do this twisted form of trying to normalize, or maybe not normalize, let me not put words in your mouth, but you're trying to say, well, to some people, Hitler wasn't bad. You're just saying a bunch of stuff that I never said. You're talking about moving them.
You are, you literally are. It's not moving the goalposts. I don't, you don't even know how to use words. It's not moving the goalposts. You would say that's like a straw man or whatever, but that's what you're saying. So you're just unintelligent and don't realize that that's what you're saying. Goalposts. I'm just questioning goalposts. why is he the one person that I've seen as the most evil person of, as, of all time? That's not all you're There's a lot of people that have done evil Stop. things and they're never seen in that category. And you can look at the positive things that they have done. He is the one person that you have Who? to say he was horrible. He was terrible. He is no. irredeemable. And then you can like, have this conversation and then people get really triggered. Like Aiden's you're muting the mic and talking to this chat. It's not people right. Are, you're not able to talk about this without getting extremely offended. Because you're not Jewish, are you? Uh, but what does that have to do with the? See, you see the identity politics act. Like if you, it's not an identity politics. No, it's not like identity politics. It's like, hey, this is a more personal issue to me. That's why I'm more upset by it. That's not identity politics. That's just called being a human being. I don't know if I don't know if Nico knows what that means. That's all that is. So I don't know what the fuck you're on about, bro. But okay. Even talk about it, people are like, I'm Jewish, I can't have this conversation. You should be able to have to talk about it without putting these, like, it's just a conversation. I'm not saying bro. he's a good person. Bro, no, Sneagle, Sneagle, it matters because a lot of people who debate for the purpose of debating, they never understand the hurt and the pain. It's like a lot of yeah. white people talking about slavery and True. they basically say, hey, get over it, we're in 2023. When obviously people who are still feeling the remnants and, and actually the ramifications of what slavery did to not only their community and also their family and also their lineage Nico, it's, it's not right. a little bit more than just hey listen let's just talk about <laughs> this is not identity politics at that point you're talking about people who might what is identity politics because you are not well, understanding when, when you're talking to someone who might if have was in the stream, she would cry. That, if it is some kind of identity politics it just because something has identity attached to it doesn't make it a bad thing like it's okay to be feels more personal towards particular issues that's why when i I'll talk about like the arsler. People will be like, oh, why do you care about blah, blah, blah or something? Well, it's because my wife's a behavioral specialist for adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities. I've talked to these individuals and I'm like, wow, I, I regret having like my take on it. So that's why I advocate against that word. But you probably don't talk to people like that. So like it's less personal to you. I understand that, but it's not that's what we're talking about. Like it's it's proximity to particular issues when it comes to like advocation. So of course a Jewish person is gonna be more upset about fucking saying Hitler was so awesome, right? Than somebody else. <laughs> Are not understanding perspective, bro. It doesn't matter of what you're talking Sneeko, about. Sneeko's you're talking family, about in a, bro. Y'all, oh, y'all are not talking about respect. We're just bro. having a discourse flipped, of opinions, and it, it was another race that you guys are race or your your background. I mean, you're sort of all y'all know. Yeah, DJ Academics is not bad when he's sober. True, he's actually a pretty good guy. Kind of like him. <laughs> I didn't like him on that fresh and fit shit, but he's not a bad guy. His ancestors. Stop if you're not able to have a debate because of your ancestors, then. Like that's 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 holding back a lot of conversations. That's like me saying, Yo, I never met none of my ancestors that were slaves, so why the fuck I give a fuck about slavery? Brother, you're you sounding crazy right now. True. There's a difference between giving a fuck about slavery and being able to talk about slavery. You can be able to talk about what I was saying, I'm offended because my ancestors like but you're downplaying the Holocaust. So. It's just it's a discussion. <laughs> slavery still happens now. A lot of a lot of different ethnicities were enslaved. I don't think he's okay. shutting down because he's not willing to talk about it. He's shutting down because you're not empathizing with maybe the effects of what that did to people like him. Just that, that, same thing with me. I, I have ancestors like my my grandfather, for example, was was an, was possibly in a work camp. My my grandfather possibly in a work camp. <laughs> what does that even mean? Possibly in a work. It sounds like you. If you don't think he was in the work camp, like what? What your grandfather was possibly in the work camp? What are you talking about? What? This is not relatable. He's pretending that he has a relatable experience. He could even lie, right? Like my my grandfather, for example, was was an, was possibly in a work camp. My <laughs> okay, I don't care. If he was in the work camp, then I would care. But like you're saying, he was possibly in the work camp. Now you're just pretending to like have a fucking relatable experience. Ah, my granddad might have been in like a work camp. Or maybe he wasn't. Uh, you don't give a shit about your fucking grandpa. If you don't even know. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this is why your family doesn't want to talk to you anymore. Yeah, what the fuck, dude? Holy shit. Wow, what a fucking goblin. Holy shit. Big if true. Yeah, true. Oh, my God. Yeah, my dad. My, somebody might have killed my dad. I don't really... Listen, I understand what it's like. Imagine me. Like, somebody... <laughs> Imagine I'm at like a funeral and some, some like fucking like, you know, some guy's dad was just like shot to death. And I was like, I, I, I know your pain. I, my dad might've been murdered. He's like, what do you mean? Your dad might've been murdered? Yeah. I think he might've been murdered. Why do you think that? I don't know. I don't really know. Um, I just haven't seen him in a while. He's like, wow. You understand my pain? Yeah, I get it. Yeah. When was the last time you saw him? Like yesterday. I mean, you haven't seen him in a while? Yeah, you just haven't talked to him in like a day. Maybe the day before that. 
This is what's this is the this is the conversation that's happening right now. My my grandfather from Europe would possibly like we were finding stuff out about that. Wow. And I'm able to have this conversation without getting extremely offended because you don't have no relation or you don't care about any of those about that. You just what are you talking about? This guy's a goblin. Because it's it's I've never met this person. My grandfather. We should be able to have these conversations okay. without getting like, oh, I'm Jewish, I'm black, so slavery is the worst thing ever. I'm Jewish, so the Holocaust is the worst thing ever. Like, I do. What, did, what point did I really make in this debate? You guys got really angry. What did I, I, I say? I got mad when you said nobody talks about Hitler. You, you said Hitler's most evil man. Nobody talks about how Hitler trying to bring back Germany or some shit like that. Brought Germany back. Yeah, that's, that's why big. I got really upset yeah. with you. And you talk about perspective. You're like your whole point is perspective right now. Can't you try to empathize with the fact that he saw I'm his at, country? I'm at, I'm at, hold on, hold on, you didn't even let me finish. How a World War One soldier saw his country crumble in real time. They saw the, the Treaty of Paris and how the rest of Europe screwed over Germany. And this guy's extremely angry and he wants to mobilize Germany. If you want to talk about perspective, that's a guy who saw his country get crumbled and he wanted to bring it back. There, there's a perspective that people should be able to empathize with. Does that justify the Holocaust? Absolutely not. But this is Thank a conversation that people are not able to talk about. Unless he finally said it. Sneak up, but why have, why have that conversation? What's the point? What, what is the point of this? Are you going back to Do you want to get Hitler's flowers? To, to break the Overton window, because we talk about like the benefits of the A24, the A20. Yeah. Break the Overton window. The Overton window is an approach to identifying the ideas that define the spectrum of acceptability of government policies. It says politicians can act only with an acceptable range. What does that have to do with the Overton window? What? It was the first person to say, like, okay, let's actually look about this. We immediately shut out these conversations, and then we're... That's, but he said he loves Hitler. What are you talking about? What's... This is... This is so what Aiden asked before is actually probably one of the most... Is an incredibly good question, and I don't want to downplay it. I need you guys to understand. Why does this matter? There are going to be times where people will promote... Will, will propose information that might be factual. So it's factual that Germany had a positive impact in a short-term capacity on World War II. But what's the point of me saying that? Where do we go with that information? It does certainly doesn't outweigh the millions of people that he killed. So what's the point of what I'm saying? Now, what could the point have been if I was saying that if I was going to make a point of like, yeah, he did some good for Germany. And the reason he was able to do that is because we economically crippled the country after World War One. So next time we have a problem with an adversary. Uh, after we are successful in the war, we should make more fair terms so that there's a pathway for rebuilding. Then the that that fact makes sense. But if I'm sitting here saying, "Hey, <laughs> Hitler did some good things," by the way, the Jews are just telling this crazy narrative that he's so bad. I might be anti-Semitic. There's a reason to say facts. If I was sit, we let's do it with black people because we love black people here. If I decide to sit here and say 13% of the black, of black people commit like disproportionate, like 52% of the crimes or whatever, or 52% of high violent crimes. If I was going to sit here and be like, hey guys, this is a fact that black people disproportionately cause more crimes in the United States. Okay, that's a fact. What's the, what am I, why am I saying that? I could be saying that's so why I say like, hey, let's examine why, what socioeconomic pressures are being put on black people. Let's bring in the context of systemic racism and historically slavery and whatnot. Then you'd be like, that makes perfect sense. This way we can figure it out. Or I could be like, because I think that black people are just violent inherently and they have low IQs. That's Nick Fuentes' perspective. Now, I'm racist, right? So we understand that like there's reasons to, to say facts. Why are you saying the fact? What's the narrative behind your fact? And the narrative behind Sneeko's fact is to downplay anti-Semitism. That's it. That's all it comes down to. That's it able to not even question history not question a possible narrative that might have been sold to us in schools from, from history books that were written by certain types of people they lie well, Jewish people lie. respectfully <laughs> okay. and even with you know Kanye and disrespectfully on, like, the Holocaust like that like I mean maybe I don't know how he's he feels about slavery but it's like like there's a lot of families who you know their whole lineage has been devastated by that they, they wouldn't just allow someone that was not even black to speak about slavery and just kind of impose what like you have Kanye <coughs> talking about oh yeah let's forget all that let's just talk about the holocaust like in a different bro come on bro like you understand what, i didn't on. even say that you, you're just putting words into my mouth because people you're are so this is the point i'm just trying to call out the programming you even no, talk not. about just this you even say shit. like hey maybe we should look at hitler's perspective when we talk about perspective you even say that no, and people get so angry people are like are so adamant to defend this thing if, if you talk about slavery right a lot of black people are like my what's hitler's perspective like that's the thing like no this is silly goosery Ancestors were enslaved. Well, so were Irish people were slaves. Jewish people were slaves. There's slaves right now in Libya. Sure. You can argue sure. people in China are slaves, but do people get that?
Yeah. Why, why don't the Chinese people get so mad about like when you people make jokes about the iPhones and people jumping off the roof? You don't see. Nobody's downplaying when you make a joke about people jumping off roofs and killing themselves because of iPhones. That's like that's a joke that's calling out that behavior in China and with like Apple and shit, which is bad. I don't I don't understand the point of your question. Chinese people and Asian people would be like, but the kids in China, they don't do that because it's not pushed. It's not pushed in the books. We are not sold a specific narrative. Well, no, what the problem is, is that we don't care about Chinese people in the West when we should more because China's fucked. And it's funny is that he constantly downplays the atrocities that like the Chinese government engage in. Um, and then he's like, see, there's a narrative. Yeah, the narrative is we don't care enough. We should care more. I agree. Like, I don't know how to engage with this anymore. Uh, yeah, we should engage more. We should care more. China's get like, we will fucking, there's like situations where like, if you call, if you put your fucking get on one knee and put your fist up for BLM, China's fine with that. But the second you start saying like, hey, there's fucking uh, Muslims in, in its cont containment camps in China, all of a sudden, like, uh, they're going to shut down your fucking program. Or they, won't, super two dollars or they won't air it. Par. Here's for the good entertainment. Thank you. I appreciate that. And then they won't air it. Like that's a problem, and that's a that's a big problem. Like that we have in some like in some of the West. That that's a good criticism. You're just sitting here trying to say that Hitler was fucking based. I don't understand. That is the programming, and that's why I'm glad that he was able to talk about that because he shifted the conversation no. for so long. He's no. the most evil person ever. He's the most evil person ever. Well, is he? Yes. Were there people that killed more people? Were there genocides that happened in other countries that we don't talk about as much? Why is this the I'm one thing that we are focused on so then much? Then talk about them. You don't care. You're just trying to say that there's that you're just trying to say that the Jews fucking wrote hit rewrote history so that they can say that they're victims when they're really not. That's what you're saying. In U.S. history and not about other evil <clears> dictators. <throat> That's the whole point. It's not me trying to defend. It's not me trying to go and champion. You made it seem like I'm trying to celebrate. I never even said that. I'm just saying it's good to think about things in a different way because maybe we were told a specific narrative. It was a straight question and, and you struggled to answer. I said, was Hitler a net positive or was he an evil person? I don't think he was a good person. No. Wow. Faced. So you, so you agree that he was a piece of shit? Why, just, why, why, are you trying to, to, why are you trying to get me to say the same thing that everybody else is saying? No, no, no. He can't even say Hitler is a bad person. <laughs> Dude, he's unhinged, bro. He he won't even admit Hitler's a bad person. Like this is a fucking this is actually wild to me. He can't he can't be he can't bring himself to say that Hitler was bad. Like this is fucking nuts. Holy shit. No, 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 no. Bro. What? He is a piece of shit. Do you agree? Yo, I don't think he was a good person, man. I don't, I, don't. I don't think he's a good person. He's a piece of shit. I don't know about that. What, dude? This is a no-brainer. This is fucking wild. Damn, dude. This is crazy. I, do not, I think he was anti-Semitic, of course. I think that he was uh, a total okay. dictator. I think he was egotistical. I don't think he was a good Christian. I don't think... But I... Think of, you're being a bitch on these topics. I'm going to tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> you're he's a piece of shit just like you? No, no, no. Because... I'm going to end this shit. Yes, you're unwilling I'm to admit certain truths I'm in the sense of... Chat. Yo... Somebody might be an asshole, or somebody might have an attitude, or somebody might not be the nicest of guy. But he's not please. an evil person. That's not an evil person. I never said he wasn't, so he wasn't an evil person, but you, you want me to get that too? Just like, they just want you to say he's a piece of shit, and you just can't do it. You can't like if you can't say Hitler's a piece of shit. I mean, bro, it's crazy. I'm. It's almost. I'm almost happy people like Sneeko exist because it's like it's almost like it's just. It like makes it. It's it's just like you can't make this up. You know what I mean? Like this is this is fucking. It's all it's entertaining how fucking unintelligent this guy is. This is wild, bro. Oh my god. Agree with this. You've never said yes. Like no, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. Sneaker, like I can actually see where you're coming, like getting at, but it's still not even bro, I'm Jewish, but like and my people, my, my, my family's family's family, like, you know, ancestors and shit, they went through it. I never even got to experience it. So I just I'm just saying we all didn't experience something like that. Like I mean for real. You're rolling your eyes and stuff. It's it, it, it's it's just hurtful. Like you gotta understand that anyone that's like disagreeing, like what if what, what if, did I say it's hurtful? I just I didn't fuck with how you like it, it just came off how you're justifying it. Okay, but what did I say specifically that hurt your feelings? It, I'm gonna be honest, okay. it hurt when you said guys feelings are gay, so clearly it doesn't matter, I guess. Is that the Sneeko perspective here? Like nobody talks about how Hitler brought Germany back. Like or like was bringing it That's back. That's hurtful? Like yes. it's just kinda justifying it. It's a, a it's a downplaying of what he did. It's an absolute downplay. Because you're valuing that far too much, like way too much. It doesn't need to be valued to that degree at all that's the problem with it it just felt like you were justifying it that's all okay if you celebrate the founding fathers are you justifying slavery there's a difference between there's it's completely different okay listen first of all slavery is bad the founding fathers lived within a time this is fucking wild that i have to explain this it's like i'm talking to a fucking toddler the founding fathers lived in a time where slavery was socially acceptable it never should have been but the Bible justified it. The Bible that Sneeko loves, all these fucking religions justify slavery. Okay, <laughs> at least I know uh, you know Christianity does. And so, to that time period, that was considered okay. It's not okay. We know that now. 
when Hitler was murdering or genociding Jewish people, it wasn't okay. Like, it was a horrible, bad thing. Like, he was actively doing something he knew was wrong and demonizing an entire group of people and murdering them. It's just not the same thing. He did this over the course of, like, what, fucking four years or some shit. Like, it's not... This, so, ten years? It's not on the same level. <clears throat> okay? Condemning the Founding Fathers is very woke. That's true. That's like woke people are the ones that are going after the Founding Fathers. Which, by the way, we should call it the bad behavior. But I think historically, uh, we don't have to say that they're the worst people in the world. But Sneeko's the one that's woke here, no? It's fucking funny. Holy shit. <clears throat> or are you actually looking at the good they did for freedom of speech and the Second Amendment and the right to bear arms? Like, uh, if, if I'm celebrating, if I wait... Nobody's giving me any bear arms, okay? Not a single bear's arms are in my hands, so... American flag, am I celebrating slavery? What's the difference? I actually didn't think of it like that. But you gotta understand. They're not gonna clip that though. They're not gonna clip that when fucking Desert tries to call me a Nazi after this debate. Well, you Abraham are a Nazi. Lincoln You're fucking abolished slavery. Yeah, but not even. See, a lot of history is manipulated by people. Abraham Lincoln didn't care about the slaves. If you actually looked at his speeches and look at what he talked about, the Civil War was not really about slavery. It was about states' rights. It was. Sure. That people don't act. This is incredibly woke of you, Sneeko. Leftists agree with you, by the way. Yeah, for sure. It didn't seem like Abraham Lincoln gave a shit. He just wanted the war to end, and that's something that he did. I think he did it to cripple the South. Sure, that's a good point, uh, Sneakler. What? <clears throat> I agree with that. Um, but you know, it's crazy. You can say slavery is bad without saying Hitler wasn't that bad. You know what I mean? Like it's almost like these two issues are mutually exclusive. It's fucking wild. I don't know if anybody's ever thought of it like that, but it's fucking crazy. Um, so yeah. Like a lot of people in the north were just as racist as people in the south. Sure. Like, like if you actually yeah. like really read into what happened in history, a lot of probably not just as, but similarly, sure. Okay. It was manipulated by a specific narrative, and what what they tell us in school is not a lot of times what happened. Abraham Lincoln didn't give a fuck about black people. You think he cared about blacks? Really? You think he cared about slaves? Like, they, they, right. It was about the banks. It was about taxing the south. It's always about money. Maybe. Sure. Yeah. See, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know all my history, bro. So I'm getting away from this no. stuff. It's the left, the the, the 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 woke people that you constantly complain about agree with you like a thousand percent, Nico. It's the funniest part about this entire thing, I think, is that like it's he's complete he complains about the woke about woke people, but like all woke people complain. Like this is what all these woke people complain about <laughs> is is actually unhinged. Like he, it's so funny that he seems to agree with like every fucking like woke kid in the entire world while pretending that he doesn't. It's so weird. I don't get it. Well, he doesn't either, probably so. <clears throat> this is why we need to look into things more but like this is how they prevent us from looking into things more because you you condemn the people who look into these things and call them fucking like virtue signalers or like woke fucking morons like what are you talking about <laughs> you are the problem what do you mean this is wild you get so offended before you go look past the wall like I, i'm trying to tell you like, i said that was that bad I didn't even... yeah but, but, but Sneeko, you're doing that red pill bullshit where you say something I gotta completely pee, I gotta pee. I gotta pee. off put into a reasonable conversation that you try to bring up maybe a point that could be thought about and then you're like, Whoa, did I trigger you enough? You can't like the the, the first conversation about Hitler as I think was absurd. But then if you, talk, go ahead. if you talk about the founding fathers, I actually think that you, you might be like that only that point. There is a conversation to be had there, but it's not a conversation that behooves or actually defends Hitler. When you True. juxtapose that with your defense or you even normalizing Hitler, it, it's still going to seem ridiculous. But if you just want to go into a conversation about the founding fathers, I think that, that that's separate. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, I agree. I'm sorry. Brother. Like, like you're, you're trying to equate like. Yeah, I'm just trying to point out how there, there's there's a specific narrative that we're all supposed to believe and we're so emotionally attached to this part of history that most people don't even really know about. <laughs> but, but you're saying it's the fucking left or whatever, but it's the fucking conservatives who would disagree with you. The left would agree with you a thousand percent. And why? It's because we hear so many times, Hitler's evil. Hitler's the most evil person. If I went back in time, I could kill Hitler, kill Hitler, kill Hitler. Okay. And so we start believing these things. We start attaching ourselves He's emotionally to the subject it, without do believe looking it. really deeply into it and without comparing other figureheads in history. That's the. This is a walk back to a more reasonable point because he's gotten sloshed like five times in this one conversation. Just understand that. Like, he doesn't give a fuck about slavery. Okay, that's why his best friend is Nick Fuentes, somebody who thinks that black people are biologically inferior to white people. He doesn't care. It's just a convenient, it's a convenient argument for him where he can pretend to give a fuck about black people. He doesn't. He's a fucking, he's a loser. Um, but that he doesn't care about this point. It's, 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 it's all about how Jewish people aren't real victims to him. Point. I'm just trying. It's, it's not red pill bullshit. It's just trying it to is. point out the fact that a lot of us are programmed and we don't even realize it. This Whoa, is a good test of to how people that. are programmed. Let me ask you this question. What's your overall goal? In, because 
sometimes I watch you spew some of this narrative and I'm like, um, it, it doesn't help you. Definitely doesn't help you financially. It doesn't help you um, gain more, gain more allies or I care about truth. I, I, I genuinely care about truth. I, I like to don't. unplug myself and, w- and wake myself up and wake they other don't. people up. Yeah. Uh, I've been plugged in. I've bought- I think that I think that Sneeko, um thinks it's such a weird thing. I think that Sneeko like thinks that he's got all the he hates like he hates anything that like people on the left will agree with except for this one instance it's weird um he doesn't care about truth bro the guy will just say statistics that are facts or don't exist like he doesn't care about truth i think that he's trying to i mean i think part of it is he's just trying to sell people this idea of like truth he wants to be like oh i knew something you don't know but we're in like the age of like fucking information like there's not a whole lot that we're not going to know um we just don't care like we know about like some crazy shit like happens the government like fucking give you assassins people and like destroys Black Wall Street. People just don't care enough. Like people don't give a fuck about their their own oppression. Bought into some some woke garbage before, and I think that it holds you back. And I, I don't want anything to be able to hold back my mind. Or Bro, like to have- what you're saying would be considered woke garbage about slaves and whatnot. So, lol. You know? Have a free mind. So the active pursuit of that is extremely important to me. If I'm going to take financial hits for it, then 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 fuck it. I think the truth is more. That's the most important uh, thing. So valiant uh, for for me to talk about. I wouldn't necessarily say that it's woke garbage with with maybe some of the, the some of the the common thought about some of the stuff you're saying. Now, again, if you're trying to introduce like some new things that people think about, like whatever you said about the found fa- fathers, I think right, okay, bro, you're gonna bro, be like, I'm like, trying to rewrite the Holocaust. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Is anyone hurt or offended? Because I'm not trying to hurt anyone. That train. Because I don't think you understand also the concept here? of hurt. I, I think you think everything is a debate. And not everything. If comes, I want to talk about. And it's not going to be a debate. The when people, they were trying to come at. Like, kick. like, you, you ever had a relative um, get murdered? Yes or no? Yeah. yeah. How do you know that? I don't know if You're very close to you. Somewhere close. Do we believe this? Because he's, he's, he he lied about his grandfather before. I'm not trying to be rude or anything. I'm just saying. Unfortunately, I've been there a few times. Praise the chat. RP the chat. family who loves that person usually isn't trying to have debates. It's emotionally charged. And also not saying always correctly on 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 task, but <clears throat> those emotions can't be just subsided because there could be a debate to be had. And when you start talking about things that I have just to to people, and I'm not trying to for people who might be Jewish, <laughs> but I so also empathize for people who have, you know, had, you know, a a, a lineage of people that might have been in slavery, it's it's not something that you want to just have a debate that's devoid of all these feelings and emotions that you might think because it's a debate that doesn't work. If you don't okay. that, I, well, I believe in facts over feelings. I, I think if, that, if you get okay. hurt about a conversation about something that happened in history, then that, that's fine. But I think debate is important. Okay. I think conversation is important. Like. I, I, didn't, I don't well, think I said you anything. literally have you operate with no facts. It's it's the craziest shit. This guy is the, mo- the least factual person in the entire world. So I don't know what you're talking about. You care about facts over feelings. Anything hurtful. I don't think I said anything. Bro, here. That facts over feeling shit is is like that's red pill shit in the sense of, oh, especially when you talk to a bunch of chicks about the, but, but when you have people who have died, like, for example, I covered the war in Chirac, my nigga. I was you covered a lot of people who died. Hold on. I learned later that when you have people dealing with trauma. Have you dealt with trauma? Have you dealt with Have you dealt with a sibling, a mother? Yeah, he got cucked and it made him uh, hate women. Or, or a sister who maybe got raped, got touched, who was dealing with trauma. That that whatever you're talking about on a debate level, that won't connect. <laughs> you you're not thinking about that because you're you're saying facts over feelings. Facts doesn't overcome that feeling. So True. that's that's the only thing I disconnect with you on because that's not real. Fact. Two things, like one, Sneeko doesn't operate with facts. I've already said that, but he's a fucking liar on that. But like, the, one of the interesting things we're, we're people. Like, you can't just facts over feelings. Everything because we're human beings. Like, we're not. We're people. We have. We're more than just like facts. Like, we are emotionally driven and we are factually driven. Like, we have logic and emotion. We're a mixture between the two. Um, <clears throat> that's just the reality. Because if you're gonna go pure facts over feelings, then slavery is okay. Because because it's free labor and you, throwing bodies at a progress has historically worked really well. So by your logic, like slavery is okay. Facts over feelings, guys. The feelings don't matter. Slavery is justified. But we're human beings. You shouldn't be enslaving human beings at the expense of other people. That's fucking insane. So facts over feelings is just stupid, fundamentally. It's a dumb way to operate in any capacity. So 
that's how our feelings actually is saying that we're not humans. If you go through a traumatic event right now, your entire mindset will okay, change. Here's the thing: none of us were enslaved, and none of us okay. were in the Holocaust. So I it's was. like, this is not a, this is oh, not yeah, a relative. Yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you think we're as removed, just because you weren't in it, uh -uh. you're not understanding what life See, is. You're chat. Are y'all yawning? But I told you my grandfather was possibly part of this thing. I'm no. still talking about it. <laughs> possibly. Dude, this guy's so dumb. I told you that my grandfather was possibly part of this thing. Well, first of all, nobody, you're not saying that your grandfather, like, you. it doesn't matter if you're talking about something is different from diminishing something. You're diminishing what happened in World War II. You're not diminishing what happened to your grandfather. Second of all, you don't even know if it actually happened to him. You don't give a shit. It's not the same. You have no emotional attachment to this person. You don't even know that you're just learning about. Like, it's just an interesting factoid to you. It's not the same as, like, you don't have an identity with it in, in, in anywhere near the same intimacy about it maybe you could talk about it if you're not like let me tell you this this whole thing about like this life isn't a full like but i will tell you it's just a black and white I'm gonna play with jake or scary game life is about experiences today. what you've gone through and i'm a gamble, if you've been through some shit, I don't think shit I, be. like put like this and, 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 and you know jake. i'm hopefully making up a fictional event hopefully this, I, you know, jake. I don't know jake. nothing jake, I'm you're about this. if you had a sister that got taken advantage of by a nigga Against her will. Anytime she ever told you that she was hanging out with a guy, you would have certain feelings and certain things that you would probably try to put in in, in place to make sure that doesn't happen. If you sure. just think everything is just black and white, my nigga, you got to get out this red pill bullshit, bro. I will be yeah, honest. that's a little bit different than talking about people that like that. These people are my sister's alive. This I don't. This analogy doesn't make any sense to me because you're dumb. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to you because you're acting dense. So let, let me give you a realistic approach, oh my right? God, so where I grew up in, you know, I'm into the United States and great. I'm rich, all that type of shit, but. Slavery was the reason why my family was in the countryside of Jamaica. Running away from slave masters and hearing about your great-grandmother and your great-great-grandmother escaping situations or your great-great-grandfather being imprisoned or having shit happen to him. If you're just devoid of all that because you got a couple tattoos and you in Miami, brother, that's you. That's you. You can't connect with history. Maybe you should retrace your history. Maybe you should see what people sacrifice for you. Because I know what they sacrifice for yeah, you. I'm trying to connect with history by having a conversation about it. No, you're not. Again, three I'm not trying to say that this is going to block all conversation. Block all conversation. I'm just trying ready? to say we have to. That was a very like woke argument. That's like when you see a girl and you're trying to talk about. No, no. Bro, he can't say woke anymore. This guy literally brought up a woke argument about how the founding fathers were bad, which I can like agree with in some capacity. But that's what leftists are saying. Founding fathers are bad because of slavery. Sneeko is saying the same fucking woke shit and then saying, this is a woke argument. It's dumb. Him saying something is woke is the same as fucking leftists saying that everything is a Nazi and everything is fascist and everything is Hitler. Okay? You're doing the same thing you're criticizing, except... Hitler is a literal Nazi. You're literally justifying him, and he is bad. You're fucking crazy, dude. You have a you have a, a poop you have a poopy brain. You have actual poo poo poopy duty brain, bro. There's poopy duty in his brain, dude. It's crazy. It's fucking wild how much poopy duty is in this guy's head. It's no, nuts. That's like when you talk about rape culture, and then a girl's like. Yeah. And she starts yelling about this, like we're having a conversation about okay. it's very like victim mentality you're coming with. Okay. Wait, cool, you cool, can't cool. talk about like you're talking about rape culture compared to again, there's many conversations and you know positions about rape culture. There's real historical facts about why black and brown people are in North America. True. Why black and brown people were in places like Jamaica. Like like again, you know, we could get into this rape culture shit, but like, you know, you could be a little bit like that's a little bit different. So what's your point? You, like you don't want to talk. Like is your is your general point? Like I get it. Like I'm hearing that it hurts people's feelings. Should we not talk about this because people get feelings hurt? That that's not a point, Sneeko. Uh, so, can I ask you a question, question? Sneeko? Would you say? Would you say? Wait, so, I, I have said a word. I said a word in a year. Let me say one thing, Sneeko. Would you say you talking about certain things? Do you could see? Do you can you see how people can get hurt? Of course. And don't you say to preach love and, and you know try not to hurt people? Yeah, I'm not trying to hurt anybody. I'm trying to have a, an open dialogue about history and okay. talk about the differences in the program. I'm not trying to hurt anybody by what I'm saying. I know you know that. No, I, I mean, I, I think you're not trying to hurt anyone, but people are definitely hurt by this conversation, right? Okay. Okay. So Sneak you're hurting people. Sneak I guess the point, and I think Aiden's making it, what I was going to say is that no one's saying these conversations can't be had. Like you, you, that's kind of what you're insinuating. Aiden's know. saying that people are hurt. Oh, you're oh, saying oh. that you're comparing it to your sister. That's not what I said. I said that if you're going to have these conversations in a vacuum, 
where you don't also take into account hey, the real hurt bro, and trauma bro. that's associated yeah, with so these conversations, you, you're full of shit. Exactly. Of course I acknowledge it. Of course <laughs> I am acknowledging it. No, it's like me talking about... There's a difference between acknowledging it and like you're you're acknowledging it and then dismissing it. You're just like, facts don't care about your feelings. You're not acknowledging goes, that's a really good point. If you acknowledge it when that's a good point, you wouldn't have the perspective you do. You have no empathy. You're like a baby. You literally are a child. Children have no empathy. Children are dumb fucking little, like little bibbling, drooling fucks that don't have any empathy for anything because they're too, like they're dumb and unintelligent. Like that's how you're acting. I mean, like that's what we're at here. So. Slavery and not acknowledging the ramifications of it. Great, we could talk about it in a holistic vacuum, but that wouldn't be right, real. Okay, I, I You're that. talking about sensitive subjects. And I say, and I say so all I'm trying to say is a shit. little bit of oh, not, not only sensibility soft, soft. and sensitivity, but understand that when you're talking about it, there has been people affected. That's it. I'm not again. So you want me to preface it by saying this is how woke people talk? No, I'm not racist. Like, like, so 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 right, and then talk about it. Oh, so dumb. It's, it's Dad, all right, not to say that Hitler was the best person. Uh, I think the stream is like crashing right now. When these things happen, there's trauma and also ramifications of it. Oh, well, how do you have these ramifications? Yo, yeah, hold on. Take it into consideration. Like, yo, Stinko, let me give an example because I had to learn this as a content creator, right? When a mother loses a son, if I wanted to debate about what happened that the son lost their life, you have to realize that there's people and other things connected to that person dying. If you just think it's just black and white, it's just debating, I think you're being dense. You're smart enough to know because you have emotions yourself and because you have lived a real experience that it's a little bit, it's oh, a little I'm bit more than that. Let's, say, let's not talk about it. it. Take into account, and by the way, if that's too much to ask, that's just you not being prepared to have that conversation. That's okay, so, it. so consider it, so acknowledge it before having a conversation. Chat, no, a space space time. no, see, he's so dumb. He's such, he's not. He's being dense. If he's smart enough to know, then like that's wild to me. Nobody's asking you to do a fucking trigger warning. It's that you should be taking these into effect. You don't care about the people who were fucking died in World War II. That's what's, what we're talking about. You don't give a shit. Like that's what it comes down to. You have no empathy for like this fucking mass genocide. You have, you're not a real person. That's what people are. That's what we're, we're coming down to here. That's what it all boils down to. No, no, I that's not it. Does. I said, put it like this. <laughs> you have to acknowledge. Like, if we're gonna have a full totality of conversation about you gotta acknowledge the ramifications, you also have to acknowledge what's going on. Like, for example, I'm gonna give you the best example. When I used to do the war in Chirac, the very first instinct in my mind was that, well, why are you guys murdering each other? That just seems illogical. You guys are stupid. You're acting like morons. You're acting like inhumane beasts. That makes sense in a logical sense, right? That's obvious, black and white. But then you realize, well, these people are indoctrinated because they've seen their uncle, their cousin, their brother, their sister get murdered by another another group of people. And See, they have now been put about. in the situation. So, again, you, I'm not saying don't talk about it. But if you're going to talk about, about it on an educate, educated level, How you should take that, it into Accent, perspective. Ask, ask perspective. If you don't take it into perspective, that. you're having a conversation that's so not. At this point, H, just like let uh, DJ academics talk. He, <laughs> I know he's just trying to entertain your stream, but like. It's just fucking distracting. Rooted in reality. Because He's reality wrong, isn't listen. black and white. When you listen to niggas who do this red pill bullshit, they talk black and white. Reality ain't black and white, my nigga. Nothing is black and right. white. And if you say it is, you're delusional. I'm just sorry True. to say. Based. I didn't say you just made up a whole argument that I didn't even you're make. Not. Uh you're uh you're straw manning me? Yeah, you're shifting the goalpost? Uh no, dude. He's hundred percent correct. Like you're saying everything is black and white by saying facts don't care about your feelings or whatever the fuck you said when you don't care about facts. That's all that's coming down to, man. Like you're being a fucking little dipshit. Like grow up, be a man, like shit, be a little fucking empathetic to the struggles of different people. It's all that's being said here. It's not like a hot take. It's not like super fucking crazy. It's just like basic respect um, that you just don't seem to possess. That's it. <clears throat> but, but do you hear what I was trying to say? I'm, I'm Consider it, like just be more empathetic. Is no, that it? He's is that basically saying understand perspective. Like at that that's first, exactly what you guys are doing. But, that's exactly what both of you didn't do this whole oh argument. Hey, is understand hey bro, the thing that triggered you is I don't care about Hitler's perspective. I don't care. So, so it's either understand perspective or don't. Because, because there's, no Hitler, there's no justifying. There's no justifying a guy who killed six million people. Bro, so it's understand perspective or not. Because Hitler, whether or not I understand why you think he's evil, I don't think he was a good person is, as well. But to not why you think he's evil, I don't think he's a good person as well. 
but he still thinks that he's not evil. I just want to be clear. The way that he said that was intentional. I understand perspective or not, because Hitler, whether or not I understand why you think he's evil, I don't think he was a good person as well. I understand why you think he's evil. I don't think he was a good person as well. He's using very intentional language. Hitler, he doesn't think Hitler is evil. Like, that's the it. That's what this boils down to. That's it. That's as far as this goes. Understand through his own language. He said this intentionally. He doesn't think Hitler's evil. He won't call Hitler a piece of shit. Like, these are like weird things that like, it's fucking wild, bro. Well, but to not understand it, he's also a human. So you also need to understand that perspective if you're going to use that as an argument. You can't just shut him out and it say, bad no, no, understand everyone's I understand, perspective. I, 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 that. I understand Hitler has a perspective, but I don't agree or even want to even, why would you, I, I mean, yeah, like, of course, everyone's probably wondering, why did you do it? Of course, like, everyone's like, what was your perspective on doing that? But it's like, and I get what you're saying with that, but it's like, why does it matter what Hitler's perspective is? He's a sick man. You even admitted he's a piece of shit. Sneak up, right? No. He's evil, right? He, would, he wouldn't admit it. So he goes, I, think he was, I think I think he was a bad person. I, See, I he won't admit he's evil, bro. He doesn't think Hitler is evil, bro. I don't know what to tell you. Like that's where we're at, bro. It's fucking wild. Listen to this fucking guy, dog. He's he's such a little baby. I don't know if he was evil. I haven't met the guy. I think he was a bad person. <laughs> oh, okay. He was a bad person. Sneagle. Okay. Was Hitler? You see, you see what you guys are doing? You, you, you me. <laughs> I haven't met the guy. I don't know. Sneagle. Maybe he was a nice guy. Nick Fuentes is such a nice guy, guys. He probably is in person, but he's still. Uh, I mean, I don't. You could probably call him an evil, anti-Semitic little fucking shit turd. Bro, this is wild. Fucking uh, this is wild. Buffalo Wild Wings over here, dude. This is crazy. Was Hitler evil? Do you see what you're doing? You He's want asking me to a question. Like this. You're trying yeah, to so shit. I, I see what you're saying. You're just doing this to do it. It was Hitler <laughs> evil. Was Jeff uh, Thomas Jefferson evil? Sneeko, uh, was Hitler evil? Maybe. Again, there's a difference between Thomas Jefferson owning slaves at a time where it was considered okay to own slaves, justified by religion, versus a man genociding an entire fucking group of people just because he wanted to, because he wanted to blame somebody for the problems of the world and beat down Jewish people. It's completely different. If somebody said you they think that Thomas Jefferson is evil, okay, I'm not going to get offended. I can see where you're coming from. They're not the same thing. You're fucking, you're playing the woke game right now. So... What's, what are your what are your criteria? What's your criteria of evil? Murder? Look up the definition of evil. Yes, yeah, pretty. I'm asking you. You want me to say this so bad? You, you need you. me to say the same thing as you so bad. You. What is your criteria of evil? Profoundly immoral, immoral, and and, and wicked. Yeah. Yeah, I think he did. He was. He was. Uh, he did commit some wicked behavior. So is he? Is okay, he is evil? evil? I don't want to say the same thing that you're saying. Wow, he's such a fucking pussy. Man, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to go and... Binge, I'm not going to partake in this group thing. I'm not going to go and, and Bro, do this. I'm anti you, you know what's funny? No, I, you know what's funny? I said, is Hitler evil? You said, I don't know. I didn't know the guy. And then I said, I read the definition. And you said, yeah, he was wicked. So you basically... Is he evil? I, I would say... I don't I don't want to partake in this, like, you need to say exactly what I believe oh, thing. You just, just said it, though. You just said this is, how, this is how you avoid... No, but it's not about what you believe. Based on the information, the facts that were presented to you, that he is a mass murderer, and that is a wicked act, do you think he's evil? Like, this isn't about, like, a... This isn't about thinking the same. It's just about thinking based on information that comes out. Like, what are you talking about? You're trying to make it seem like there's some kind of, like, wokeism attached to it and fucking dumb bullshit we're saying now. Avoid yourself from having actual conversations no, 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 no. and dialogue. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, listen, I don't care. I said, was Hitler evil? You said, I, I didn't know the guy. I read the definition of evil. You said, yes, he was wicked. Is Hitler evil? I, I'm not going to partake in this whole uh, thing. What a loser. I'm out. I'm out. I don't care. Call me immature. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Call the, say everything all you want. I don't care. I don't care. I'm out. I'm out. No, I don't care. I don't care. I'm not, I'm not doing that shit. He's doing it for reactions. He's smiling and shit. He knows what he's doing. Damn. Okay. Yeah. I mean, frankly... I don't know, dude. That reaction from Aiden, I respect it. Because he's he got to a point where he's like, I'm not gonna interact with somebody who's being like this.